All right, let's talk about it. You texted me the other day. Yep. Right? Yes, you did. Biden has... He's out of here. He's out. Mm-hmm. All right. Biden's thoughts? gone. What's your thoughts? So everybody's endorsing Kamala. Mm-hmm. I don't think Kamala can beat Trump. Why is that? I don't think... For one, pure racism, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but racism on top of sexism. Yeah. She's got a double. Right. She's blackish and she's woman. You know what I mean? That's real. That's real. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be like, we're not having no Negro bitch in here. <laughs> not happening. Not now. Not yeah. never. Because it's a template, man. White uh, America loves white men as leaders, as mm-hmm. boss, right. as superior beings. They accepted Barack because he was half of man. White man. I guess he will do. And he's half black. Okay. Half we, a man is hilarious. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's half black. Mm-hmm. He got a little white in him. And he's a man. So so if you had a hermaphrodite, right, who was mixed race, mm-hmm. do they have a chance? They cover all everything. Right. Pun right? <laughs> <laughs> do they have a better chance of winning? Because, like, let me appeal to my woman's side. Plus, I got these balls. Also... You know, I've been uh, to to the the white power meetings mm-hmm. and to the Black Panther <laughs> meetings. Why would you have meant that? Why would you tell people that? To know you're well rounded. I've 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 attended the clans meetings and the Black Power meetings. And here's what I found out: we're all mm-hmm. more alike than you think. I will tell you everything I found out if I am elected president. How does Mo yo? You are mm-hmm. outrageous. Uh, hey, Moyo, did you see an alert through your uh, YouTube for this live? Yeah, we're on StreamYard today, uh, Moyo. Uh, let us know if anything looks different or odd. Yeah, let us know. Um, the only person who can beat Trump is Michelle Obama. That's uh, that's my vote. If there's anybody who's going to win, I feel like all of us. A darker just... black woman. But but it's Michelle Obama. What they got to do anything? Because Michelle is so loved, so well respected. Like, because Hillary's not going to beat Trump. She lost the first time, and people hate Hillary. People mm-hmm. hate Trump. People despise. Yeah, I, I think Hillary. the issue. I think the issue with Kamala is they trying to find a lot of dirt on her, mm-hmm. and they're just going with her uh, prosecutor um, background. Mm-hmm. They keep trying to attack her. Like she put, she she put so many people, black people, in prisons, and it was like, no, she was the governor. She's a senator of. Uh, like Sacramento or something. It's like she wasn't the one that was like throwing people in jail. No, wasn't she a Supreme Court something? I think she was a senator. I don't know. Yeah, I think she was a senator in like Sacramento or something like that. And they're attacking. I'm sorry if I am wrong with her former. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. She did something. She DOJ. Was wasn't she a DOJ? Something of justice? District of justice? Department of justice? Di- dilution of <laughs> justice? <laughs> What's the DOJ? <laughs> That sounds like one of Dr. Dre's proteges. <laughs> DOJ. <laughs> Digestive of justice. Mm-hmm. Degenerated. Mm-hmm. It's something like that. Yeah, it really sucks because, yeah, like, I think a lot of white folks, we, we forget, like, even though we're, we hang around a lot of black and brown people, we think that we run the United States. That's our circle. But we're like, man, there's a lot of flower states that you forgot about. There's a lot of flower states. like I am flower not, states. Fly over, fly over, states. fly over states that we just ignore. Mm-hmm. They got so much power, they got, and we just like yeah. All the coast people, uh, you know, going up to you know Washington, California, all the way down. But them flyover states, they mm-hmm. like yeah. Y'all think y'all loud and influential? You got to deal with us. But here in Iowa, <laughs> I'm burn, I'm voting for anybody white. I always say there's the whites and there's the whites. Whites. <laughs> they are very different people. Yep. <laughs> there was a guy on YouTube. I don't know how I came across this, but he was a mixed race um, male mm-hmm. that went to Ozark, Missouri, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it was, quote unquote, the most racist city in America. And his whole objective was to interview the... Supreme Ku Klux Klan member. The Grand Dragon. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and when I tell you, I understand their logic. He's the like, Klan. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't dislike black people. I just don't care about them. Okay. I, I like, he's like, he's like, so, so 
because me being a mixed race male, you don't like me? He said, no. He said, I don't care about you. Uh, I believe that we, uh, as a Christian faith, um, we were the superior beings and we had favor in our lives. And <laughs> <laughs> so he was just saying it like, like we have to respect our inheritance. Mm -hmm. We have to respect our ancestors that passes down onto us. They gave us this sort of power for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't hunt black people. I just know that if you got a line, yeah, they keep you down. <laughs> that was so bold, and just he's like, I won't invite you to my house. I'm not hunting you, but just know you got to know your place. In so many words, I was like, yeah. He's like ten toes down. I don't that's, care. If, that's I don't the care power if the camera's system. on me. Right. I don't care if that camera's on me. That's what they believe in. I guess yeah. they've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, it's illegal to kill them now. Yeah. Okay. Ah, all these laws. Yeah. I guess we just can't let them uh, do stuff. The fact that they can own their own businesses is outrageous. Mm -hmm. It's atrocious. A tragedy to America. God's crying every time. Gets a business license, <laughs> and like I said, I say this all the time, but it hurts when, like, I get, I get, um, white folks for like we, we used to own black people, mm -hmm. we used to sell black people. They were pets for in our lives, right? We told them to go out back. We told them to, do it and they did it. And now they got power. Now they got, they got wisdom. Rights. Right. And I get it. And it, just imagine, imagine that feeling that, that, man, we are losing to things we used to own. Like, it's like the up, uh, it's pretty much Planet, Planet of the Apes. Apes. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Surprise about that movie. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Sick of that. You can't tell me that was the most racist idea. It was, it was an incredible. What if all the black people started taking over? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, uh, the monkeys. Or the monkeys. What's up, Miss B, if you nasty? Mm hmm. Like, sounds like he wants white privilege. <laughs> I want white privilege. I would love that. What's, what, what's black privilege? What do we have? Uh, saying. <laughs> that's that's it? the only thing we got. That's all we got. Uh, uh, walking into black functions without getting questioned, or well, that, that's not a privilege. What's black privilege? Do we do we have a black privilege? I would say um, calling calling brothers and sisters brothers and sisters without feeling feeling questioned. Not for white people. Hey, brother. Oh, different. Yeah, it's a little different, but yeah. Yeah. Uh boy. Um let's see, black privilege. So what's some black privileges, privilege. folks? Tell us what some black privileges. We gotta have more than uh, just unlimited uses of the N word. Unlimited, homie. Ben. I wonder because I wonder if I think about like Latinos or Asians, I don't know necessarily or like Africans here what would be a privilege except for like you know, you have a, you can always you always have a country you can return to. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you'll be a, kind of an outsider insider, mm -hmm. right? But you have a place that you have that's by you for you, right? You know, Mexicans have Mexico, Chinese have yeah. China, uh, of all those other countries. So I guess you have those. But you know, we here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what do we have? What's our black? I want to know, I really want to know if, like, things were different, would our lives been better? Like, right. like, if somebody was, like, one of Christopher Columbus' homos, was like, hey, man, hold up, man. This is inhumane, bro. We shouldn't take these slaves, bro. Let's just, let's just. Yeah. Hey, what y'all doing? <laughs> Get off me. Ah, 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 ah. Like, dude, like leave these black people alone, man. Let's let's work ourselves, man. Like, what well, things been better if we were in a different timeline? Of that's a great ass story. As in, somebody's conscious, like stop them. Like he was like, like let's collect these black people. Like stop them. He was like, hey, yo, yo, everybody, quiet now. Trust me, 
We wouldn't our 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 grandkids and our great grandkids will never hear the end of this. Please don't take these black people. Let's just work this ourselves. You gotta think about this too. Is that slavery is what four five hundred years ago? Mm-hmm. Uh, and how long was slavery? Slavery was for about four hundred years, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I meant. Not four hundred years ago, but for four or five hundred years. Um, they got away with it for a long time. A long time, baby. It's on internet. <laughs> they so, some country didn't know it was happening. Nobody was like, this is. You right. know what? Also, probably anybody who did say it was wrong, you're gonna speak up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. Was 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 wild is think about this is 400 years ago. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Boy, they didn't they didn't have geo systems, man. They didn't really understand the idea of of compass. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure they had something that was like the sun has been setting here. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming. We're going here. I think they had a. I think a compass is old. I don't. I wonder how old the compass is. Yeah, but because because I'm sure they was going by stars, right. navigation, and, and where sun. the sun is landing. So they probably thought I'm going around Africa to get to India. Right. That was that's the whole logic. They thought they were going. And that's why they when they went to America, they called they're calling them Indians, right? So Chinese scientists had developed navigational compasses as early as the 11th or 12th century. Western Europeans soon followed at the end of the 12th century. So that would be right around when homie, what's it? He got lost. Was it 1492? Columbus sailed ocean blue. He was just an idiot. Also, I can see how using a compass is difficult. Yeah, like, because it, it keeps it keeps moving, and you can't just like turn it around because <laughs> this wind is blowing, and it's not like a motor. It's it's this a, it's a wind sail. They just they just being pulled. And mind you, they were like. Hey, man, we should have been in India like a month ago. Because there's always that rumor they're about to revolt. Yeah, let's turn back around. He's just like, no, nah, no, nah, man, I know it's right around the corner. Look, I see green. We're there. And you know, he just kept looking. Oh, come on, please, 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 please. Oh, God, gotta be here. Because this is what happened. If they thought they were going straight into America, right? Mm-hmm. At night, somebody could say, turn this shit around. And then that's where they start going down. The, and then they start going down to South, like South America, right? Mm-hmm. And then it was like, Okay. No, they had to go down past. You had to go past Africa, then come back up around to get to India. No, their plan was yeah, their plan was to go around all the way around Africa to get to India. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how they kept going east versus down because they they hit uh, South America first. Yeah, so they had to go west. They had to get lost and go west. I'm sorry, west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. I mean, but if you're out there, you're just kind of, it's nothing but water. Right, right. It's got to be so easy to get lost. Yeah. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, bro? What's up, Kai? See, they found us. You miss your turn and it's a wrap. Because <laughs> <laughs> imagine, look, I, I've i been on, you've been on a yacht before? Or a boat? Uh, on a boat? Have you been to a sick. place where there's nothing around? Uh, no, no. You seen something? Yeah. I'm not going that far. I, I, I did. I will panic. I did. Oh, and yeah. Y'all a, know how to get back? Did we leave a, some breadcrumbs? Have you did uh, uh, Kalina uh, Kel, uh, Island? Uh-uh. No? Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost like you can see a little bit in between Long Beach and the island. You'd be like, this is terrifying. And it's like, you, you in your head, you'd be thinking, like, I hope the water is, like, this far. <laughs> But you know it's, it's deep. deep. It's deep, man. Anything that has a little bit of weight is going to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, my boy. Nah, I don't. I, I can't imagine just looking out and seeing nothing but water. I'm like, I don't know where I'm at. Yeah. I, and, and imagine, imagine getting knocked out. <laughs> imagine getting knocked out and falling over water, and you wake up in like in a flotation device. You be like, you be like, I don't know which way to start swimming. <laughs> you just wake up in a rowboat. <laughs> just like. Look, look, yeah, yeah. I can do this, right? The sun comes up, I go like, that way is east, mm-hmm. okay? And then when it goes down, it's west. I'm done after that. Yeah. I, there's no more yeah, yeah. navigation. When the moon comes up, like, when the moon rises, yeah. I'm done. What? <laughs> if it's a, especially if it's a cloudy night, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I if- just stay, I can't, and you can't just stay in one place. Right, right, right. Imagine, imagine, <laughs> ah, this is so terrifying. <laughs> You have a rowboat, mm-hmm. right? You have a rowboat. You have a bunch of 
factor meals <laughs> inside the rowboat. And now you're looking like they're like, okay, and bottled water just in case you don't want to drink this, this one. If right? you got water, you might be all right. Yeah. So you got to so, just keep drinking your but beer again, after a while. Again, you're like, I don't know which way to go. You just land. Now you're like in between like Africa and America. You just like, I don't know if I'm, am I going north? And you, and now you, you like, you, you tripping like this whole time I could be going north. I could be going towards Greenland. I could be going towards Antarctica. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Antarctica's a problem. Right. If you see an iceberg, we went too far. Yeah, yeah. I go, okay, okay. But the thing is, you're doing this for hours, right? And now, like, imagine your you back sm- about to be crazy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. At the same time, this is a, it's it's not even about. I'm I'm willing to to do it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm willing to do it. The problem is when I'm tired, and I'm feeling like this right here, and then like like. You seeing like little fins, kind of like like little <laughs> fins hitting your boat. Little shark come on. Yeah, like you see just a random splashes. You start it start raining. The rain is probably the best thing that happened. Really? You. Because otherwise the sun is beating on you and mm-hmm. there's no fresh water. Yeah. Right. You're surrounded by seawater. I'm like, you're right. so fat. You dehydrate so fast. Yeah. So then I'm like, you only can drink a little bit of water. You're gonna have to drink your own urine. You mm-hmm. got to. I don't yeah. know how long you can last. Right, right. But they say people be like, oh, they were three months at sea. I'm like, like, what do you? They'd yeah. be dried and shriveled up. Right, right. Any island you can get to is probably gonna be a little better than. Yeah. Uh, I mean, damn dog, floating in a float. And then, and then, if you had a map, you're a speck in the ocean. Yeah, they you're were not speck. seeing you. They were not seeing you. You are about here. You're just like, I'm, right. I'm nowhere. Right, right. And you can be so close to an island, you'll never know. Mm-hmm. And like I said, somebody can say, "Listen, I'm willing to give you one billion dollars." To rowboat from Africa to America, could you do it? You'd be like, it's like, do I have all the food? Do I have a restroom? You'd be like, yeah, we're going to give you all that, but it's all going to be hand. More, more of the question is, 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 if the billion is guaranteed, would you do it? <laughs> what's the, what's the, ah, gotcha. Be- because if you said, could you do it? No, I'm never going to make it. If I had to get there to get the billion dollars, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. I'm not going to make it. But if you said, as long as you try, you'll get this big. No, dollars. that's not a deal. As Why long as you a... try. Because you'd be like, yeah, I tried. No, I mean, you got to you gotta try to go. You may never get seen again. <laughs> no, might, no. You might there, never there's seen a again. reality team around you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a big ass yacht behind you. Well, there's a reality team behind me, then I feel a lot safer. They're not yeah. going to let me die. Yeah, you're not going to die. Well, you might but as soon die. as you quit, you, you lost your money. So that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't do it unless it was a guarantee that no matter what. No, it's no matter what, man. If you quit, you you go back home. Then I wouldn't even, yoked up. Then I wouldn't even try. I wouldn't even try it. <laughs> you wouldn't try it? No. Hands calloused. It wouldn't even matter. Forget all that. Once I can't see the land, panic. I'm going right backwards. <laughs> going back. Let me see how long it's going to take. How long will it take? In a rowboat? Yeah. <laughs> how long will it take to rowboat from Africa to America? If you need help, please call away. <laughs> <laughs> the time it would take to row boat to row a boat from Africa to America can vary depending on weather conditions and other factors, but it can take anywhere from one to six months. Ain't no way it's gonna take one month. <laughs> Depends on how strong you are, man. One month to row from here to Africa. Woo! Ain't no way. Yo. If you start in Miami, it's gonna take you. It's not gonna be one month of rowing. You have to row twenty four hours. No, you got to be about. yoked. Unless y'all take turns, like this, yeah. So if it's just you, yeah. What happens if you hit a storm? Then what? <sighs> that's what it said. Depends on the weather. Them waves, bro. That's yeah. a wrap. <laughs> Fighting that much. <laughs> Them big boats topple up. My little robo. We're done. <laughs> we're done. That's over. Yeah, I, I would try it. I would shut but, up, and, and like, no, You're no, not listen, trying nothing. Listen, listen, listen. You're not trying I'm a damn trying thing. It. No, you're if I not. have a reality team behind me <laughs> to to bail me out, if if I like, hey, this is getting scary, get me out of this. Actually, like uh, the contract says, you got to try or die. <laughs> the funny thing is, the funny thing is, I have a reality team behind me watching me for any sort of like you know sicknesses or getting you know cramps. You know, sharks or anything like that. But then their their yacht breaks down. <laughs> a wave knocks them down. Knocks them over. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> and, 
And you, would a, you try to go over there and save them? How many people? Get, is anybody out there? Because <laughs> then, because then you gotta you gotta look at your supplies. You go like, oh man, it's three people who can be saved, but I got one jug of water. Yeah, 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 yeah. No oh, man, that's a wrap, B. I don't mess with the water. I don't mess with the ocean at all. I'm a little, probably a little more. Uh, I got more love for lakes, probably mm-hmm. right? because we, you know, we grew up a lot. Like you know, Michigan, there's just lakes anywhere randomly, but nah. Uh, don't mess with lakes either, man. No, I mean, because also the the besides just vastness of water, I worry about. Any kind of animal eating me, any kind of octopus grabbing me, pulling me down. I'm worried about all that stuff. Octopus in the lake? Well, in the lake, it wouldn't be that. Right. I wouldn't really worry about some kind of alligator, crocodile, shark. I mean, there are freshwater gators, I believe, but uh, not really in the Midwest. I went to a camp. I went to a camp uh, in, in middle school, mm-hmm. and we had to canoe across this lake, right? Mm-hmm. They had a stream. Uh, they had a, like a, a stream that we supposed to kind of like guide. So mm-hmm. me and my homeboy was doing this, right? <laughs> and then we were killing. And we were racing our friends. We were killing. And then for some reason, I thought I could take a break. And then that break, we were went on one side. And then we was like, oh, oh, boy, oh then no. we was like this. Oh, and then boy. we were try- now we both trying to catch each offset, but we flipped over. You toppled over. Yeah. Like went underwater? Up over, yep. And the good thing is it wasn't the one that our, our our bottom half was inside. It was like we can kind of flip out. But my foot was stuck. I have, you know, size 15, so my foot was stuck up under mm-hmm. the, 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 the 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 divider between him and I. Mm-hmm. So I kept trying to do it, and then and then I'm, I'm flop, I'm drinking all the bacteria. Oh. <laughs> and he was like, stand up. And I was like, oh. <laughs> they was like this much. It, was, it wasn't that deep. We had the little the thing, the flotation things on. Once my man said, "Stand up." Yeah, hmm? but I'm <laughs> I'm kicking. Ah, ah, ah. My man, uh, Willie Willie Metcalf. You had a whole amoeba grown uh-huh. in you. Right? Mm-hmm. I got a whole nother yeah. living species inside yeah. your belly. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking it, boy, with a straw. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. Nah, man, I don't mess with the anything ocean. No, no. You know, you know what bothers me with with creeks or lakes is when i see the the green moss like kind of like can you eat it growing on rocks and i just look at it like remember when you was a kid you get in the bathtub and you got that little brown dirt that be around <laughs> right now? i'm looking like oh this is the dirt this is the the ring but algae like or like sea moss is a thing right sure so i'm like is, is algae close to sea moss is it is it anywhere near the same kind of thing i doubt it. you can eat it then people people eat seaweed. Yeah. If you want to eat moss, tree yeah. moss, that's not healthy. Yeah. I'm sure there's some nutrients in there. I'm sure you can boil it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's some good stuff in there. Natural tree moss. What type of marijuana does Crips uh, smoke? What type? Seaweed. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Man, I even asked. Uh, <laughs> uh, reading Life of Pi changed the whole outlook on being stranded on the ocean. I never read it. I saw that movie because I only saw the poster for that movie. It was a boy and a tiger and a boat. Sign me up. And I was like, I got to see how this is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the up. poster and walked right in. Uh, what's up, 12? Storm equals death for sure. Going to step off that looking. What? Going to step off that boat looking like Big job. What? So you're gonna step off that after rowing for so long, looking like Big John, <laughs> upper body, because because you're not really using your legs at all. Yeah, ninety percent back, bro. So, I'm currently on the Detroit River, looking at Canada. It's so close. I'm not even trying to row over to Canada. I ain't no way I'm making it to Africa, man. For That's real. wild. Yeah, I want to know how long. How hey, Mo, you look up, look up how long it would take for you to mow. I said to Mo, look up how long it would take for you to row boat from Canada. <laughs> To Detroit or Detroit to Canada. See how long it would take. Let me, let me look up walking underneath the Mich- Lake Michigan once or like trying to swim across Lake Michigan. Yeah. I think we like try to like oh. walk at the bottom of it or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, how deep it is. It was a great movie, but the book was better. I, w- I can't wait till I see something. I go, the movie was better. Man, I don't. I'd rather make a movie than write the book after. Right. 
Yes, let me break it down a little more because for the people that's confused, let me let me kind of dissect a little bit more. Damn, I don't know, man. The I don't I don't know bad. how Life of Pi could be better as a book. When you see the movie, like man, this movie is good. You'd be like, incredible. how can I reverse this? How can you get more detailed? How, how can you be more detailed with the water and the you know and the? Well, you know, so, so of course it's a whole different type of storytelling, right? Mm -hmm. And then I was saying about this. I was saying this about Jurassic Park. They're very different stories. You like, read the book? Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, yes, it's about the dinosaurs, but it's more about the scientists. You know, it's, he's way more. But when I you heard know, he was the villain. Yeah, I mean, he's he's the mad scientist. Mm -hmm. But in the book, it's like, eh, that. Mm -hmm. Look at these dinosaurs, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was dinosaur, dinosaur, people, mm -hmm. dinosaurs. There's a lot of movies that we just failed to believe that this person was the antagonist the entire time. Like what? Uh, Ferris Bueller. Okay. <laughs> he was an asshole the entire movie. Okay. He influenced his friends to skip school. He influenced his friends that, you know, you're better than that. You should leave her. He had his friend steal the car. And then, you know, <laughs> if everybody thought, he said, yeah, let's take your dad's car, man. Let's take, and all you got to do is put the car in reverse. <laughs> to, to reset the Let's put the brick on there. This is, this is so smart. Like, he was a villain, dude. He was an asshole the entire movie. What else you got? Who else was uh, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Come on, man. How was he the villain? He, Dude, he was... <laughs> How was Good he... day, sir! Like, the fact that he... If the kids didn't get riddles, he pretty much... No, 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 no. No, no. What? He had a set of rules. First off, my man was about to give you an entire... No, that's like someone was like, hey, I'm about to give you the keys to Amazon. Mm -hmm. Okay? So all you got to do is follow my rules. All right? Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty clear. Yeah. So these kids, they f***ed up on their own, and then you're going to blame Willy Wonka? <laughs> but you don't have to just... Uh... I don't know what these kids... Roll, what, roll his big blue ass out What happened to these kids, man? Hey, what? That's you their don't problem. Know. All they had to do was listen. They're dead. <laughs> he could be like, ah, wrong answer. You go home. No. These kids are... Those kids kept doing stuff. That's like going to the store. You don't touch nothing, right? That's basic stuff. But black kid would never happen to. He would have won the whole thing because he knows yeah. not to go in there and touch anything. Yeah. Hey, I, hey, hey, uh, hey. Hey. Uh, hey. Yeah, this, the kid got the hiccups, right? Went through the went through the roof, the 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 blueberry, uh, the chocolate. Uh, I'm talking to me, it's like it's a prototype. And, don't. And if and if you want to get in more detail, I think the Oopa Loopas were slaves. They didn't want to be there. I don't think they were slaves. I think it was really hard for them to find work as being orange little people. <laughs> he said, "I'll take him." He's probably they were probably experiments more than anything. He probably tried to make slaves. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, it's probably where, what's that, what's that stuff came from? The little, um, minions came from, they're just Oompa Loompas. Mm. Cause then he make his minions. Uh, I don't know. You see, you see the, 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 how he became Willy Wonka movie. No, I think it's called Wonka. It's a one that came out recently with Timothy, Timothy something. Shabbat? Yeah. No. There's a new one that came out. I don't know how the origin of how he became Willy Wonka. I like uh, how that, when there's just so much just out of ideas, like pretty cool. Yeah. Anytime there's no uh, rights. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then they were like, uh, we got to do uh, the people. After, the aftermath. People, people love Wizard of Oz. Let's do the origin of who the Wiz is. Mm -hmm. Let's do the origin of who the Wicked Witch. Mm -hmm. Let's do the origin of the one who got the, 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 the witch that got the, the house slammed on her. I mean... Damn, she made a tragic end, bro. She was minding her own goddamn business. Mm -hmm. Was this? I don't. I'm gonna try to remember. Was she being a dick at the time? Because she was a she was a wicked witch of the who? east, the one who had the house drop on. Her. So it's four witches, right? Right. The so Linda, the good witch of the north, probably the bad witch of the south, <laughs> right? But which one have we ever mentioned? And then there's the east, got the house fell on them, and then there's the wicked witch of the west. So so did we see the fourth? No, we only saw two out of the four. Yeah. So we gotta talk about the fourth one. Well, who are we missing? The South. Because it's glad the, the, the bad bitch. The bad from the South. <laughs> the bad witch of the South. You know mm -hmm. she had to be bad. Yeah. So, because you had the North, which I'm assuming was the good, mm -hmm. right? The, good, the right. good witch of the North. And then the East. Well, I think she was like, I think something, was, she was being a jerk or something, whatever. And she got the house dropped off. Nobody was sad. And if you think about it, the, the good witch could have early just said, hey, 
this happened to my sister, take these shoes and go back home. That could have been in the movie. Yeah, because she comes, she takes her <laughs> shoes, right? Which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> just, ooh, that's crackhead. <laughs> Yo, he hey, you're a witch. You could have been like, ah, take the house shoes. off of her. <laughs> so then, so then he takes his, she takes the shoes. But then what did she say? Go see the wizard? Who was the... Yeah. If you want some answers, go to see the wizard. Yeah. Why didn't she... Because then... Cause then who told her at the end to click her heels three times? And right. Say the wizard does. Yeah. Or and, does the witch tell and her? And she could have just said, hey, all you got to do is click your heels three times to get up out of here. She might not have known. But did the wizard know? Wait a second. Who knew? Because the wizard wasn't a real wizard. Right. How did he get there? Yeah. What's they, his they, story? They did the movie with... Uh, uh, what's the brothers? Um, yeah, they did the movie with him, how he became the wizard. Is it just called Oz or something? It's called Oz. With uh, I keep saying I'm gonna say David something. So so the wiz okay so Oz was the land, right? James Franco was the Oz. They have a they have a movie with James Franco how he became Oz. Okay, so Oz is the land, right? Mm-hmm. And then let's call the wizard. Yeah, because he's the wizard of Oz, but his mm-hmm. name wasn't Oz, was it? I don't know. Oh, this one of the movies that I've like just too many origins, man. <laughs> I can't. I just can't remember. I was like, it's been right. so long since I've seen right. it. Yeah, and 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 the Wiz is just a whole pretty yeah. much the same movie. Uh, um, hilarious. Well, uh, let's see. It should take long at all. It's not even a mile on the ferry. It's twenty minutes. In the origin, or his original story, in the original story, the Oompa Loompas were small slaves. See, oh baby, told you. I like that version with Timothy Shallow or whatever the boy's name is. You like that version? Okay, twelve. What's good? What's up, DB? What's good, y'all? Just back from trucking school, and I'm at work tired as hell. Uh, how y'all doing? We good, bro. Trucking school, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So where, where are you working at now that you like, I get the f*** out of here. <laughs> I got it. This sucks. Trucking better pay me a lot to, be, to travel across. I, I like to travel. I like to travel. I need... They don't pay for your hotels with it. They, they, they pay for you to find... A place to sleep, so you sleep in your back of your truck now, right? Yeah, I thought some people sleep in the back, and then you had the little stops. I'm falling right. asleep. Yeah, and I think I think I know it. I think newer sim. You have you rolled in a new cars that have the, they can kind of guide mine. Yeah, it definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think all semi trucks need that for, for them sure. to travel so far. Mm-hmm. They should just go ahead and scrap all these semi trucks, mm-hmm. because man, have you been in between two semi trucks? You like. Man, just one, one little, one little over. reaching for a cell phone. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped a fry. Yeah. <laughs> the, the double take. Ah, ah. And this is why. And this is why it gets lonely. I'm, I, I'm certain it gets lonely as a semi truck driver. And you like, I need to buy me a prostitute. Just ride with me. <laughs> Stop <I>, over. <laughs> <laughs> no, just be like, How just talk doing? to me. Feed me fries. Let's let's Ew, you want a prostitute feeding you fries? <laughs> yeah. Versus a puppy? Her hands are the worst thing. <laughs> Feed me with your feet. Ew. Your hands have been. No, thank you. And I'm certain there's like I know there's a couple girlfriends like, I ride with you, yeah. In the in the early seasons of a girlfriend, I ride with you absolutely. And she's like, When we going home? Oh a road trip across the country with your wife is a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> It's a it's a good idea if you moving or something. Yeah, y'all gonna get on each other's nerves. Right, it's right. bound to happen. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's it, if she knows she's get into, it's like just know if we get into a serious argument, I'm still going to work. <laughs> You're work. getting out. <laughs> we Speaking of road trips, mm-hmm. I said this numerous times. You seen Poetic Justice, right? <laughs> long, long, long Damn. time ago. I, Thirty years ago. I really believe they did Joe Toy wrong. I, I don't even know what I, can, I cannot remember. I'm sorry, bro. Because they is... they made him into the villain, man. For those who have seen Poetic Justice, man, Tupac and 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 Joe Torrey were the best of friends, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Regina King was a drunk, raging alcoholic, <laughs> and she's just talking about this is why I like. I smashed your brother. I did. I don't know what other things she did. She just kind of got arrogant. He said, "Come on, man. Come on. Stop trying to embarrass us." And she's flirting with people at the party. You know, she's doing her thing with other people. He's like, "Come on, man. Stop. You're trying to embarrass me." And then she's like, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did embarrass you, pretty much. I'm, I'm sorry." And then all of a sudden, she's like, 
You want some? He said, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this in the back of the truck. Our friends is up there. She's like, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. So they're having sex mm -hmm. in the back of this mail truck. Mm -hmm. And he comes quick. Mm -hmm. And she's like, this is why I'm sleeping with so and so. Like, you two pumped. What is this? Are you on steroids? She just, just, just whooping his ass with like confidence. Just whooping his confidence that you, what you on steroids? That's why I'm sucking somebody else. And he's like, what? He hits her, right? Of course, push her to that point. And now Tupac jumps in. Well, she, he hits her. Janet Jackson hits her. They, now they fight. Now Tupac, like, huh, huh, and and they fall, and he knocks him out. And they make him seem like he's the villain. He's like, dude, <laughs> it's like, how did this happen? Yes. When's the last time you seen it? Very recent. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I watched it. Something so fresh. I was like, this yeah. is all scenes. So, so real quick, me, my daughter has been trying to watch oh, all right, black classics. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. she's been going through a lot of, of movies. So, so when I saw it, I was like, God, this sucks, dude. He was a victim. And then the fact that she pushed him to the point of, I got to strike you now. <laughs> no, no. Hello, yeah, yeah. She's like, and that's why I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. She, I don't know what she said. And he said, <clears throat> and then Janet Jackson comes and kicks him in the nuts. <laughs> Get off of her. Does and then he's really like, what's Justice dude? Your, your girl, she tripping, she tripping. Tupac. Ugh. I was like, golly. And they left him. In some random like bus stop, <laughs> and he went on about their way. And I'm like, how did this become about like <laughs> he did nothing wrong in this entire movie? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like he deserved it. Yeah, he deserved it. Like, who, if you just heard that, if I told you that story, would you be like, if you were the one who got. Man, all right. Yeah, if but I told you the story, would you be like, once it's your you, fault? Like, once you hit a woman, no one cares what happens yeah. to you. Once you yeah. hit a woman, they're like, you never have. And he's like, yeah. did you hear what she said? To yeah. Me? I was so hot. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they all heard it. They yeah. all heard it. She was like, so as soon as he had smashed, like three seconds in, she was like, oh, gosh. All right. Here's controversial. Yeah. What's the most you can do <laughs> outside of striking a woman? How far can you go? Without getting in trouble? Without it being like, yo. The mo the, 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 so you won't be judged? I mean, judge a tad, but you didn't hit her. You just gotta hold her down. You gotta get on top of her arms, legs, and tell her to chill out and mm -hmm. talk to her. She's gonna spit at you. She's, <laughs> she's gonna try to. Ah. Can you do a? Can you do a? Nah. You can't do a shake up. Because you're also punching her chest at the same time. You're pulling and well, you hold it up high, so it's it's here. So you're right past the. If thing. somebody saw that from across the street, that's a problem. But even though you go, like, yeah, mind your business, dog, because you don't want this. I'll so come and like, grab your scruff in your neck, fam. You have a wrinkle in the back of the neck time I get done with you. Because I'm tamed. He tried to, now he's threatening me. <laughs> I'll leave this this your back. daughter? <laughs> huh? That's your daughter? She's next. <laughs> Tell her to grab a ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep on throwing that baby. <laughs> Dumb. The yeah. whole down scene was crazy too because it's not crazy. It seems crazy. Here's the thing though, also, man, like I don't want a woman to feel powerless. Because <laughs> that's the whole point of a hold down, right? Yes. So okay. you get kicked or punched. Sure, sure. So you hold them down and they know that they're powerless against you. Right. I don't ever want her to feel she's powerless against me. I don't I wouldn't want my What wife do you to want feel. her to feel? <clears throat> I, I will if we're if we're past the part the conversation has stopped working. Yeah, right. Because clearly, and she she is whooping your ass with insults. Right, and so, that's why I'm sucking this. That's why f dude. That's why. So, I, so me, I'm a I'm a leave guy. Now get your back back here. She walking, follow behind you. She following behind you. She can't stop me from getting out the door. Yeah, she's fo she follow you. She can follow me. I'm yeah. like, hop in my car. Yeah, and I'm out of here. Uh huh. Where you going? You also, also I can outrun her. She ain't gonna catch me. I'm gone. And hey. now you Jonathan Majors. And now I'm Jonathan Majors, <laughs> exactly. He made the right choice and he yeah. dipped. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He took off from and, and hey, shout out to Homegirl. Cause she was in heels right behind him. What, like, is, what is her objective? If, how did he get insulted? How did she get insulted that she chased after him? Yo, the, the fact that he was running through the streets. Right, right. And, and they had she... different angles of <laughs> like it was a movie. I said, what movie is this? 
Who's directing? And the funny thing, the funny, funny thing is the detective collected the footage from different angles. Like, okay, mm-hmm. can we get uh, the, the bodega from uh, 79th and 3rd? Give me a two shot right here. <laughs> Can we get the uh, the corner store right here? Uh, the fact that he took off, dog, yeah. and she was on his heels. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, he had to have. Had he had on some yeah. uh, tennis shoes, he'd yeah. have been out. Yeah. But I was yeah. like, hey, shout out to her, bro. Right. So right. she a track star? Because I think, uh, what, was it Was it? she looked at his phone, he took his phone and ran? Mm-hmm. It had to be. If I punched you, I think it's I think it's along the lines, from what I remember, it was something along the lines of, She's seen his text message mm-hmm. and he snatched it back and kind of like, like, like get off of me. And mm-hmm. he ran because there was a girl saying like, I had a good time with you or something like that in mm-hmm. his text message. And then he was like, like, get out of my business pretty much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was also wondering, and this, I'm sure this is very insensitive. This is insensitive, but I wonder why did he care so much? About what she thinks? Yeah, about like, it was like, oh, you saw, like I gave like Chris Brown and Rihanna, they had an argument about yeah. a relationship, but it's, it's Rihanna. Yeah. Right, I'm like, ah, I, I'm not trying to lose her. Uh-huh. The other girls, and he got Megan good now. I was like, well, he didn't know that. Even before that, though, I was kind of like, what's the? I'd be like, hey, hey, yeah, I'm talking to other women. That's, <laughs> but, I'm Jonathan Major. Nobody. <laughs> no, I'm not minor. I'm not Jonathan Minors. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely I'm talking to other. You thought you was? Mm-hmm. You thought? You, well, he hasn't. Why'd you think that? Why'd you think that you were the only? How long were they together? I don't know. Because it feels like a two or three year. I get it. Had it had it been his wife or something, I more than get it. Mm-hmm. But I was like, she she was she wasn't worth the run from New York. How should he have handled it? I'd have been like, uh, you can look through all the messages you want. And then she struck him, right? I don't know. I think she struck him. He grabbed his phone and fought it off, and he ran out. I'm not I'm not gonna argue about some chick about who I'm texting, but I'm like, I can get another one of you today. Today. I think they were actually together though. I think you just upset because she's a, he's a uh, bunny hopper. No, he's with Megan Good now. Yeah, but you, I think you just like yeah, leave that white girl alone. No, it's not about her being because I would say the same thing if it's just like, hey, understand my superstar status brings me different things, mm-hmm. and if we're not committed, which they might have been mm-hmm. committed, right? Clearly not. He mm-hmm. wasn't. Then I'd have been like, hey, look, you caught me. Yeah, you're not. Taz, you you have a temper. Sure, I have a temper. Yeah, but, but also I'm the one who's wrong here. Correct? Well, I'm, I'm gonna get mad. Why are you looking at the motherfucker? Be one of those guys. <laughs> I caught you cheating. You got me. Yeah, you got me. You're not prepared for any sort of argument. You don't know an argument is coming until someone gives you a face or a strike. I would be like, I don't owe you an explanation. If you're gonna leave, you're gonna leave. In the perfect world, but but Regardless, now but if, now we're playing chess. If you tell a girl, hey sweetheart. I know we've been together for a year and a half. If you don't like my lifestyle, you can leave. You think she can be like, okay. <laughs> no, I bet you she's more, insulted. I bet you more women stay than leave Stop because it. of the life. I guarantee you more women stay than leave because of the lifestyle. Unless they have their own money, they have their own whatever. I promise it's you. It's a pride thing, bro. I promise you. And they go back to that street life and they go like, damn, I was just in a private car. I was just living. No. I was just in a first class, and now I'm staying at my mom's house. Please. Her mom's like, you better go make it right with that man. So you think she's going to fall in suit? That's not like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen it. You've seen it. Yeah, but they... How many people do you know personally who has more than one person? <laughs> but anybody is going to have some sort of rebuttal. Hey, who was this girl just texting you? Stay out of my business. Okay. Sure. In a perfect world. But she's going to have... Alcohol has been introduced. That happens all the time. If that's the case, she would have said nothing. She would have saw it and just like. That's why I was wondering why he was tripping. He was like, break the news to her. (laughs) It's the perfect time. Hey, listen. Now, if she was in there kicking him, yeah, I get the run out. But if she was like, I found this. Who is this? (gasps) I got to get out of here. I'm like, what you running for? The fact that she also recorded him, too. Remember? You heard that audio? Oh, I don't think so. It's so embarrassing. Why? I need you to get in line, man. I need you to be my my Michelle Obama. I need you to be my uh, Coretta uh, Coretta King. I need you to be my the woman by my side to support everything I do. He named all these black women. Yes, <laughs> yes. And it's like that's embarrassing. I hate the idea of being recorded and then posted. Like this is this is what Dion said. <laughs> like no, I was vulnerable. 
<laughs> he didn't say nothing crazy. I mean, the fact that he named all these yeah, black women. Yeah, yeah. I, I need you to be supportive. Mm -hmm. I need you to be my, my, my rock. I need you to be my Michelle Obama, my Coretta. I'm like, that sucks, dude. And you and you you sitting there like, and then and then also during his uh his case, he did it again. He said, "So, uh, Megan Good, you've been by his side the entire time, um, supporting him." Um, and she was like, "Jonathan, how do you feel about Megan? She's incredible, man. She's been my Coretta." <laughs> I was like, "Don't use the same damn line. We heard that. Don't line. use." Like why is Coretta? Eh? Why is your eh? that's your template? You old mm -hmm. time traveling look, <laughs> looking like he's from the sixties. Mm -hmm. That's my Winnie Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> and how did that happen? When did, when did that get introduced? Look, women stay for less than that for show. Uh, have y'all seen Caught Up with the Book on what? The Booking Woodbine beat that movie. What? Have y'all seen Caught Up with Booking Woodbine? I don't think caught so. up. Um, no. Caught up. I don't think so. I'm so caught up. Um, no. I don't know, man. There's a there's a certain level of remember the song? Uh it was Kanye and Pushy T. Uh a lot of songs Blame together. Blame Blame Game? What's that song called? There's a lot of songs that got No no no, no. hold on. Uh um, talking about the ding Yeah. Ding Yeah. Why can't I think of it? Um, um, no, 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 no. Pusha T has this line where he's like, um, pretty, ah, let me find this. Let me just find the lyrics. <laughs> What's the song called? Give it up for the douchebags. Give, Give it up for the hen hoes. Run away. Run away. No problem, my baby. Run away. All right, all right, all right. This is this is pretty much when when he spit this verse, I said, "Oh, this is this is extremely common." Twenty four seven, three sixty five, vagina stays on my mind. He didn't say that. I did it. I did it. All right, right. I admit it. Now pick your next move. You can leave or you can live with it. Eat your body, crank with the mother top off. Split and go where? Back to wearing knockoffs. Ha ha. Knock it off. <laughs> Neiman's, shop it off. Yo! Let's talk over the Mai Tais, waitress, top it off. Hoes like vultures want to fly in your Freddy loafers. You can't blame them. They ain't never seen Versace sofas. Every bag, every blouse, every bracelet comes with a price tag, baby, face it. You should leave it if you can't accept the basics. Plenty of hoes in a ball matrix. Invisibly set, the Rolex is faceless. I'm just a young, rich, and tasteless. Pete. Yo, I, said, I never I heard that verse and I that. said, God, I said, hey, dude, yo. I never and then kind of scared it out for the douchebags. Yo, I never broke that lyric, those lyrics down, man. That's dope. That's crazy. So then, well, I remember once I first heard that, I was like, but that is a lifestyle that a lot of women go like, well, what are you going to do? Like, these cats yeah. are with a bunch of dudes. And I mean, you know, there's, there comes a there comes a thing. I've seen stuff online where people share. I saw this one girl. She was like, you sharing a dude anyways. She was like, one way or another, you're probably going to share a guy yeah. somewhere or another. I think I seen some about uh, Jamie Foxx. He had said, "He said, how hey, you think about settling down and getting married?" He said, "Why?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Why?" And he was like, "I can have any woman." And what's wild is, can <laughs> right. he is a talented man, singer, actor, uh, comedian, yeah, a lot of charisma, and it's like. I, it's, it's a hard sell to tell somebody like, "Hey, home all this talent down to one woman," and it's like when you travel and go to different cities. I need for you to. I said this. I was like, "Most marriage should happen when you're sixties. <laughs> so you should be in your sixties. You're like, you know what? I just don't move the same. I don't. I ain't got it no more. <laughs> this is when the time you guys got to make sure uh -huh. each other don't fall. Yeah. You need to company with each other. It's like a, a marriage is an old man's game. Yeah. It's not a young man's game. I think I think, and I'm don't quote me. Call that one one. I think I think marriage is is for financial stability mm -hmm. to go half on a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and it is a lot of helpers. Mm -hmm. As in, like I can't live this life by myself. As in, the the, my, the goal that I want to do in life, I need somebody to to pretty much be my two tutor. broke people shouldn't be married. We got to stop this.
We got to stop this. Why is this? Because, look, first off, I'm sick of rich women marrying richer guys. This got to yeah. stop. There's some dude who needs your help. Uh-huh. Okay, when Serena got with the billionaire, I'm like, what are you doing? So I'm a Hayek got with the billionaire, I'm like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. There's some poor dude somewhere who's working his ass off. Yeah. Right? Because working just, working two t- Just like my man right here who's at uh, truck school while he's working. Yeah. 97. And the funny thing you just said, uh, uh, Pusha T yeah. was like, was like, hey man, when you have this money, you can get whatever woman you want. So, so people are always like, why are you dating this younger girl? You know she's for your money. Yes, I can afford her. <laughs> All right. And I, it's I'm like, aware. I don't, I don't, I yes, I am 67 years old. I'm a billionaire. I don't want a 67 year old woman. Yeah. <laughs> I want this 21 year old. Right. You a creep. No, I'm buying what I want. I am a creep. <laughs> yeah, I'm a creep. I can afford to be a creep. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> I can afford to be a creep. Hey, De Niro, Pacino having these kids. They're creeps. Yes, yes. They're creeps. By younger women, right? Yeah. Yeah. 60 years younger. That's wild. When you got the money, you be like, I can get whatever woman I want. Why? Why am I settling? And there's another thing. A lot of the times, the women that are in their age category, they've already been married. They yeah. already have children. Yeah. Older children, it's probably like, <laughs> it's like, hey man, you dating my mom? Okay, I ain't got time. For that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time for that. Ah, uh, shop it off. <laughs> Stop it, man. I don't want to be around that. To tell someone to shop it off is yeah, crazy. Yeah. You call me cheating? Shop it off. <laughs> I need me a... It's like, like when you're an old, rich, white man... I was like, ain't going to be white. You're old, uh, an old, rich person. It's like, I want a trophy on my arm. Mm-hmm. I, I want to be like, man, yo, that's your girl. That's your daughter. Come Here's on. the thing. Here's the thing. All right, let's let's take Denzel and his wife. I forgot her name. Yeah, Sorry, uh, Georgette. That's not her name. But I, don't uh, know. I got it. Hold on. It doesn't matter. You got it. Uh, Mrs. Yvette. Washington. Yeah. So they they met when they were broke. A great story about Denzel couldn't afford a cab or whatever right. it was, and she had to pay. Right. So then you go. They've been together for this long. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Guarantee you. Yeah. If they divorced. Denzel's getting the youngest of tenders. I'm back. I'm back <laughs> I bet you he comes in the best shape of his life. Yeah. <laughs> he loses 30 years of age all yeah. of a sudden. This nigga, Actually, he'll probably win it. He'll probably be the slobbiest dude who gives a crap. Have you seen Anthony Anderson's new girl? Uh-uh. And he, they got divorced. He got divorced, man. Dang. Yeah, he's been with his wife a long, long time. time. Long time. It's like, it's like, why am I? Hate, I hate, I hate to treat it like it's a... A settle thing. Mm-hmm. It's like now I am back on the market. I can go crazy. Once you're back on the market, bro, it's like, oh my stand today's price. It's not yesterday's <laughs> price. I seen this video I had reposted and he was like, the divorce took me out. It's like the like a dude said this? hmm He got married young and mm-hmm. he said divorce took me out. He said, But what I learned is it I learned business and you know Marriage is a business, mm-hmm. and you definitely have to find people in your life that's going to, you know, support you as a business. And yeah, I'm certain that he's like, I'm never getting married again because <laughs> I'm just going to keep shopping young. And if, and if you don't You're marry, renting. yeah, I'm I'm booking talent. <laughs> and when you booking, oh, I keep saying booking. <laughs> and if you and if you start dating younger women, mm-hmm. you can just be like, you have a six month contract. <laughs> Oh. That's, what's his name? If you're talking about Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. she hit 25. Ah. Expired. Yeah. No, thank you. It sucks, dude. And I'm certain it's, it's the same with women, too. If, if there's an older woman who's wealthy, mm-hmm. I'm sure she. I'm sure Tyra Banks has this situation happening. Sure. What's her name? Tyra Banks. Cher. Yeah. Cher got a dude 30 years younger. Yeah. I need to look up all the wealthy. What's her name? The, the Mama Kardashian? She got a younger oh, dude. Oh, word? Mm-hmm. She had a younger black dude for the longest. Yeah. Seeing a ripped trophy, uh, right, head. right, and you can you can be, and when you have money like that, you can be honest. Like, you no, you can't say that because they didn't rob you. <laughs> you have a six month contract. They be like, okay, cool. Let me. This is my last month. Let me come and see <laughs> what can I collect in this house. What kind of scandal can I? I'm gonna start recording conversations. Hey, them trophy husbands don't be saying nothing. Mm-hmm. You don't hear a yeah. word of peep from them. 
They'd be mad quiet. I'm certain there's a. I need to look up some sort of NDAs of of celebrities. It's like if you record my conversation, I can sue you. Uh, phones are not allowed in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Like I'm certain that's not. I was like, I'm certain Drake has a lot of these. Like, yeah. hey man, they have like a little an assistant. Yeah. Hey, uh, Drake wants to talk to you. I need you to go see that guy right there, the <laughs> tall black guy. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm I'm the tall black guy. Uh, <laughs> sign his NDA. Uh, meet Drake at 403 in room 973. Yeah, and then it's like it's like so many people he's passing through. So Drake never sees this woman in the hotel. And then uh, yeah, you see somebody outside his bedroom. Like, just make sure you know there's no sexual allegations. <laughs> they gotta watch the whole movie recording for. Uh... <laughs> Allegation purposes. You remember that? Remember that rumor where they said some girl had had sex with Drake? The hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that's true. I hope that's true. Also, if she did, if she, if he did look in a condom, if she did, she didn't see it was red inside. Right. Like you can yeah. find a clear hot sauce. Yeah. A yeah. green maybe. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, clear hot sauce that it, he found. <laughs> you trying to sue? I hope that's true. And you never put a condom in a trash can. That's just you flush it. Yeah, you always flush it. <laughs> Those poor little fish and turtles, though. <laughs> that's what you think. Why you don't care about the versus just, the, the, the sperm? Tur- the turtles just suffocated in the <laughs> condom. Over People always talk about <laughs> <laughs> the turtles are suffocating. What about the safe sex? It always comes. It always comes the turtles. Nobody care about the sharks or the the urchins. If if they found a uh, a shark that choked to death because he swallowed a yeah. condom, then yeah. we would have outrage. And they and they, and they you know, tied the condom DNA to somebody like somebody named James Avery. <laughs> <laughs> Sperm. Your references take you just you ruin the whole scenario. With the James Avery reference, this is it's too wide of a swing. I can't, I can't ignore this and just keep on with the scenario. James Avery, <laughs> we found a, found a kind of full of sperm of James Avery. <laughs> oh, oh boy! What are talking about? And they have a love child. Who? Share? A brother? Share? Absolutely. <laughs> What's up, Anis? Is it? What's up, Big Sis Chris? Love Child is a funny Reg- name. Reginald Major, what's happening? Uh, yeah, Paul Lett is her name. Because ain't no way I ain't an old limp man. They have love child. When the, when the meat stopped working, Zoo need a divorce. I'm five or two. Um, Drake got a Batman Tooley butt full of stuff like that. <laughs> is that Uncle Phil? Yes. Uncle Phil was gayer. <laughs> Uncle Phil was gay? Yes. You know that? I don't know. Yeah, I know he was a voice of Shredder, which is crazy. Right, right. He's playing a Japanese dude. Right. <laughs> I uh, I went to a um, I went to a uh, a panel with, mm-hmm. with James Avery. This is when his knees was bad or something. His I knees? I don't know how he died. I think he died from a heart attack. But mm-hmm. he was in a wheelchair, mm-hmm. and his husband rolled him out and gave him a kiss on the cheek. And I was mm-hmm. like, I think Twilla was there. And I looked over at Twilla and was like, Hey, his name was gay. Yeah. I don't know how James Avery died. I didn't know that. I think I did know that. I don't know. You know he was died? Hit. Well, I knew he oh. died talking about being gay. Yeah, remember him and... Uh, from good times? No. From him the fresh and fresh. Uh, the other uh, dad, um, Winslow. Oh, he was gay too? Yep. Yeah. Did you hear somebody talking about Diddy smashing Carl Winslow? Or was it Carl Winslow saying he had sex with Diddy? One of those things they were talking about. I might have been Carl Winslow talking about. I need, because it's like, no matter how many, how much evidence comes out about this not being true, that damn, because if all the Diddy parties did not exist, it's it's like, this is not true. This never happened. Here's the proof. But that damn Cassie video was like, I don't care. It happened. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. My man came back. In a towel. Might as well did a whole leg drop on her, bro. Yeah. And then dragged her. And the arrogance of, like, nobody's on this floor. I, we see nobody. Unless he rented out that entire floor. I swear wrestling music came on. When he turned that corner, it was like, bam, 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 bam. He came in. Oh, God. I was like, oh, my God, dude. Yeah, yeah. That was Different wild. angles. And, and then it was like, I don't know if he did it or he said, hey, I need for you to go down to the front desk and tell them to delete this footage from this time to this time. Here's fifty thousand dollars. They paid him off, and then they was like, "Okay, 
Will deleted. Yeah, because that was how 20, old? 2016. Yeah. Eight, six years ago? Four, eight in, years ago. I was in San Francisco that date. Eight. Wait, how long ago was that? Six years 2016 ago? 2016 was what eight year years ago. Eight? eight years ago. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Eight years ago. Yep. He out here living living life. Making. He made two albums from there. Cast and then and then it's crazy you gotta watch your freaking abuser just live, yeah, with no re, no regrets no, yeah, and she had that feeling of like defeat like God this happened again, either he either he is mad arrogant by say I don't care who comes out this door out the door because it was an entire floor right right he came around the corner and then met her in the elevator, or if he said I'm renting this entire this entire floor so nobody can come up here. That's when you air goes, okay, I can do whatever I want up here. She's not going to make it to the elevator. What the fact she tried to escape is crazy. And that elevator took way too long. Yeah. Because he was in a shower. Mm-hmm. Had time to get out. I don't think he was in the shower. He came out in a towel. Maybe he was just naked and he grabbed his, uh, grabbed a towel. Oh, look like he was in the shower. He, he, he she was fully he clothed. Wasn't, he wasn't glistening. Maybe maybe because he was uh, he just dried off because after the shower you know that door that 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 front door slam that's enough nah but she wouldn't let it slam she'd be like mm-hmm. she was looking at her phone saw this dude coming it was just like oh mm-hmm. yeah that's crazy I feel so bad for Cass well yeah but she lived well, like she got a new baby she got a new husband yeah and it's like she can't live life normal without that being a Hey, coming up the hills, you, you're you're more happier than ever. They try to find find a way to to not talk about it. you're more happier than ever. You can't even do interviews anymore. Right, it's done. Right, and it's not like if you had an opportunity to 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 interview R. Kelly, what is what are you saying to him right now? I'm R. Kelly. This is a lifetime opportunity for you. Why is it a lifetime on. opportunity for me? Because this is the biggest interview. If he came on the podcast, <laughs> talk to me. Come on, don't try to freestyle it. I'm real trying to think of something. How you doing, Chas? How you doing, brother? <laughs> the face. I prefer if you don't touch me, Mr. Kelly. I appreciate you calling me Mr. Kelly. Sure, sure. All right. I guess we're done here. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good one. Well, okay, if I'm Cassie, go for it. <laughs> Same face. Well, that, for, for being respectful, I'm Cassie. Cassie. Okay. I'm Cassie. Okay. How how you doing? I'm good. I'm well. Life is grand. So did he? <laughs> he definitely did. You wake up in cold, did he sweat? Damn it, dude. I'm sorry. You dark. I tried to. <laughs> I was trying to pivot. Let me try again. Hey Cassie, thanks for coming on. Oh man, thank you. I'm I heard you got a new album out. Uh, I don't. Uh, we're we're making music. Um, I've been in the studio with several of my friends, and we're. I think this is the perfect time for me to drop some more music. Is it though? It's not like you were a great artist before. You didn't have a strong voice. You know. You are getting your ass with <laughs> what social media? Did I say something? Bro- I'm not lying. Heart, man. It's not like she was out here killing songs and stuff. You don't da, know what? Da, 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 da. It was all Diddy. Let's gotta, be honest. That's I gotta all. look up what music and album she has. Cassie had one quote unquote. So hit. she's a one hit wonder. It's not even a hit. She's a one song wonder. I feel so bad right now. I'm sorry. Well, let's, let's see if she has any other albums. Let's. I'm just saying because I, I don't, feel for her, but I'm not gonna act like she was a great artist. I don't know what album. Yeah, she only got one album, homie. We're not gonna act like Cassie was a great artist. We're not doing that. Yeah, damn, dude, she got a bunch of singles. Da 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 da. I yeah. wouldn't want to interview Cassie. I I hope she's good, and I hope her mental is great. I hope she's happy. I hope she has peace. Yeah, she's better than ever now. I hope so. She's not do- She's not doing any interviews. She's not a person I can be like, come on the podcast. What am I going to say? Mm-hmm. What are we going to talk about? There's a lot of times you see people on podcasts, you be like, I know you want to ask the question. <laughs> and you, you avoid, you beating around the bush. There was, there was a podcast where there was a girl who, um, 
is the sister of Nicki Minaj. Okay. Her name is, uh, it's like a stereotype. Like, it's like an Asian name. Like, I think she's like half Asian or something. I don't know. I can't think of her name. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were trying, to, trying their best to not talk about Nicki Minaj. And like, so what type of music are you working on? And she's like, well, I'm trying for my music and this, and this, and that, and this. And then I was like, they was running out of question. It was like. So you feel like you got any like uh, favor in the the music business and people want to work with you? Uh, I think now that people are starting to recognize who I am and you know that I'm the sister of Nicki Minaj, like cool, you put us in there. Like now we can talk about it because oh, <laughs> we had nothing. Oh, we were about to get fired. This yeah. was about to be our last show. <laughs> um, we found that little, found that little window. I mean, what do you what do you say? How do you interview a like, like, like when they did like a Rihanna, like you, Cassie would have to do her Rihanna interview, mm-hmm. you know, after the Chris Brown thing, she'd have to just do the whole tell it all story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You couldn't, you couldn't just do a, and she probably got paid enough money to not do a tell it all story, mm-hmm. but you, that would have to be it. You couldn't just have Cassie on and talk about her new album or some movie coming out. Mm-hmm. I remember, remember Chris Brown did that a couple of times. I remember he got pissed off and, and stormed off the off the stage one time. Cause he was like, "I want to talk about my album." Yeah, he was trying his best to be smart. Like, I just came here to talk about my album. I hope we can move past this. And she's like, "Yeah, we 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 can. We can talk about the album in a second. I just want to know um, when it came down. I was like, y'all are callous. And it's like like." Understand social cues of somebody's uncomfortable or they the reporters no. It's not like they're they don't get going it. Going viral. I have to talk. I have to. Mm-hmm. This is the only reason why you're here. Yeah. That's the only reason why you're here. Right. No one cares about the album. I right. have to ask you this. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Just like um, I hate I hate that. What's that? What's what's the, uh, Gail Gail King, mm-hmm. where she had to throw in that little jab with Kobe. You seen that? To, she was like, oh, uh, to like at least a no. What was, what was her name? Candace she was like, Parker. No, no, no. She was like a unfortunately five time uh, championship champion. Um, Kobe Bryant has passed. Um, you know, eighteen time All Star, uh, two time MVP. I'm making this up right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then she was like. Um, he has left us. Um, if for, for those who are not familiar with who he is, he had a sexual allegation situation that happened where he was accused of rape um, back in two, you know, two thousand eight. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, I was like, now this is what we doing. And then Snoop Dogg went off on her like, just know your timing. What are is you that doing? What you call her, uh, funky dog head. Yes, that's where it makes Can sense. Can I call her one? Yeah. Can I call her one, y'all? Like, you know your timing, dude. He's like, why would you, why would you, for those who are not familiar who Kobe Ryan is, he uh, had these uh, rape charges that happened in, two, I don't know what year, 2008. And yeah, I was like, there's so many more things to accomplish. Right, and right. And he was a Grammy Acquitted? Was he acquitted? Winner. What's the word? Yeah, she. Charges were dropped? Definitely something? happened. It happened. But not I'm not the, saying, not it, the it wasn't a rape thing, but she had had happened. numerous partners and it said from like 18 <laughs> seeing a specimen of one pair of drawers it was a smorgasbord in her I know Magic Johnson was like nigga you got off <laughs> you got off man because my life Magic's life was never better <laughs> Magic said he had a, an amazing I know they had a conversation though oh of course do you want to look like me nigga do you want to be the face of what? Magic Dog. It, I think it was very different. Stop it. Rape to AIDS? Give me the top five things when you think about uh, <laughs> Magic. Magic Johnson. Lansing, Michigan. Okay. Everett High School. Everett High School? That's where you went to. If if you describe who Magic Johnson is, just, this is what you're going to say. Well, you were asking me. Stop it, man. I'm from there. A random dude. Uh, Magic Johnson. Who's that? Who's that again? Man, he's a Laker legend. Okay. Basketball player from Lansing, hold Michigan. Hold on, hold on. You can't do a two for a Laker legend. Basketball player? That's the same thing. You're asking me to explain what I'm saying to somebody. I'm but, talking. Okay. So I'm talking. Okay. Like I'm just talking to somebody. <laughs> right? That's what go, you asked me to do. Go for it. Laker legend, All basketball right. player. Yep. From Lansing, Michigan, my hometown, went to Everett High School. That's that's describing me. That's all I'm going to say. Magic Johnson. Oh, my bad. Incredible <laughs> business mogul. Yeah. Incredible 
business mogul. He's part owner of the Dodgers. Okay. Uh, he owned a couple Starbucks. I don't know if he still does, mm. but business crazy. Sound like you describing uh, Phil Jackson. No. Phil Jackson's a coach. <laughs> he's a Laker legend, though. Sure, but he's a coach. Mm-hmm. So the Hall, he's not a five-time NBA champion. Or he's a ten-time. The only bad thing about Magic is he went to Michigan State. <laughs> only bad so thing. thing. He went to Michigan State. Only, only bad thing. That's the only bad thing I can say about him. Only bad thing. That's it, man. Otherwise, yeah. perfect. Would you allow Magic Johnson to have sex with your wife unprotected? Why would I allow anyone to have sex with my wife unprotected? <laughs> what? What? Hey, I'm willing to. I'm willing to sign all this over to you. I'm willing to sign all my business ventures over to you, Chad. Why would I sign? Why? Would I, yes. It's worth a billion dollars. Yes, this would be quick. As a matter of fact, hey, hey, finish hey, inside. Take your time, baby. I'll dollars. push your back. Well, I'm not touching you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Mo. Exactly. <laughs> Teeter yeah, around fine. what? <laughs> Tiptoeing around. Ad, ad, ads. What is an ad? I don't know what she got to oh, talk about. Oh, boy. She was being greedy that night. What do you guys? Oh. All right. Um, let's talk about the big son. Let's talk about his big son that didn't want to play basketball. That's a big gay dude. Speaking of big BJ's. gay. <laughs> Big Speaking of big gay, are mm. there any gay men in, in basketball? Well, Dwight Howard said, I'm not gay, I'm just freaky sometimes. <laughs> he said, it was like, is, that, is that his exact line? <laughs> yeah. I'm just freaky at times. He had like a assault case for a dude. Right, I remember. But no one has said I'm gay, right? I don't think so. Which is wild. There's got to be someone out there for sure. That's for wild. Sure. But it, I, it'll probably change things. You know, I mean, I think I think it's a lot more accessible now, especially as like this younger generation gets older. Um, gay is really a lot more acceptable and, you know, publicly. And not that it was ever unacceptable, but I mean, like, what's the word I'm looking for? That? Um, yeah, I guess I mean, acceptable mainstream wise. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but this younger generation cares a lot less about someone being gay. Uh, I think it's a, lot, it's a lot more acceptable in the WNBA. But when it comes to men, it's like, it's like it is a thing in the yeah, WNBA. It yeah. is that is right. I'd be surprised when they're straight. <laughs> like, oh, you got a you got a guy? Yeah, that's crazy. I'm I'm on the fence. I think I think Caitlyn Clark is. What? I think I think she's uh, gay. I know she has a boyfriend. Oh, who coaches at Iowa or something like that? So oh, I know, I know she she has a boyfriend. Yeah, but but if they broke up and she started dating a girl, no one's gonna be shocked. Which, which, which jacked me up, man. Candace Parker, yo. Yeah, the that up. jacked me up. I used to like, oh. love Candace Parker. Oh, I was crazy when she was in the uh, ESPN naked uh, mm-hmm. cover. I said, yeah. "Oh, who is this?" That's why I was like, "Yo, why am I not following this woman?" She was married for a long time. Too. Long time. Got a kid by the guy. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden she's like, you know what? This mediocre meat. Yeah. I'm I can to, do this. I'm about to go over to the woman's now. I can do this better than you can. Yeah. Somebody said Kyle Kuzman's gay. Is he? Bruce. Who's Bruce? I love Angel Reese's big ass. <laughs> <laughs> that could be two ways. Is she, you think saying she got a big ass or just tall? Marry women in the NBA. Many, Many women. women on the NBA are out without are out with lesbianism. Yeah, it's not so. Yeah, it's not. It's not even that. an issue. It's, it's expected. Now, here's what I wonder. I wonder if there's more sh- straight dudes in NBA because of the attention it the attracts. Stigma. Yeah. You know, because even in high school, if you're the star player, mm-hmm. you getting girls. I don't know if it's the same for the WNBA. I, I know you're not like getting dudes because you can ball. It ain't like right. dudes like, hey, yeah, what's up, ma? Yeah. I see you yeah. out here hooping. All them layups yeah. is crazy. It, you know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of mental to be it, it to be the part of the uh, the anomaly. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot to, um, to to have that media attention to have like, yo, you know, you can get a lot of f bombs. It's too hard to be in the closet now. So yeah. if you're in the NBA, it's too hard to be in the closet. But when now. that's all your conversation, it's like when Angel Reese was like, "I'm tired of talking about Caitlyn." Mm-hmm. Like we have, we are in the WNBA now. Mm-hmm. Like, like why are we still talking about this? Mm-hmm. So, so imagine because if you we were, so, so, so imagine if you were gay, and it's like, uh, how do you feel about being the face of the LGBTQ community, um, being one of the first uh, people that is out? 
He was like, I'm fine with this. First time interview was totally fine, right? Mm -hmm. and then it'd be like, <clears throat> have you found any sort of allies in the w in the NBA that that is a uh, part of your community? I don't I don't question everybody that's in the NBA, man. I just you know live my life playing basketball, doing the best thing I Why can do. Why are you gay? <laughs> just go right to it next time. <laughs> Why are you gay? You are gay. <laughs> and now and now you, you can get so many like video clips of him boxing people down like we oh, like that look look at him like he's he pushing back people down it's like oh man now people are like like now like people are defending him is like yo he doing this on purpose he he twerking it's not worth it to come off here a gay dude yeah. i'm like i'm not about to do this every yeah. time yeah. somebody dunks on me buddy like that uh -huh. you know, right like, in his mouth man, come on uh-huh i'm like i'm not gonna do all this same with football yeah I got you're better off being a gay golfer yeah a gay tennis player <laughs> I'm gonna look this up. Maybe even hockey. Are there any gay? Bl <laughs> say black. <laughs> Are there any gay NBA players? They all, they all old. Yep. Who they show? I don't know. That dude is. Oh, well, Jason Collins. Wait a second. Remember him? Yeah. Remember Jason Collins? But I'm gay? sure he retired. Cause I don't remember him. He looks old. Jason Collins for the Nets. Yeah, he came out 2013 while still competing in the W uh, in the NBA, becoming the first openly gay athlete uh, to play a major was, North. Probably closer to the near end of his career. Yeah, that's when he's. I'm out of here, homie. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to be a part of it. It's about to be a part of the reason why people don't want to come out. <laughs> Almost fell right into it. Uh, Brian Reese, a four in the WNBA. She's six foot four. I'd still take her down. <laughs> She'd take you down, bro. Hello. Uh, I'd be shot at the NBA, WNBA players that are straight, right? Who is gay? <laughs> um, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Angel Reese is gay. None of it surprises me. Well, she has a boyfriend, too. But still. So did Candace. Yeah, Parker. man. Oh, hubby. Yeah. Now I'm looking for football players. Um, Carl Nasbib. You know what it is? Well, I don't know, but I remember him his story. I remember him coming out, and there was that one other dude who got drafted, but he never really played. Yeah, and it's funny. As soon as you say somebody's gay, you'd be like I can see it. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Who? If somebody says they're gay, who? Are you really be surprised by somebody? There, um, there's like no one ever like really shock me. Um, how do you feel about Wayne Brady? What far as him being? He's pansexual. And you'd yeah. be like, hmm, I can see it. Yeah, I wasn't like, what? He had to be covered in pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I go like, that's a dude who white people love. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. He was getting love all across. Yeah. I, I got to think about who came out gay that you, it was a shock. You know who probably surprised me, but I'm not surprised was Gerard Carmichael. Yeah. Because we knew him. Yeah. And he never gave the quote unquote gay, gay vibe. Right, right. You know, he never talked about it. It's very, very. And I think he's weaponizing it now. Weaponizing? He's weaponizing it. What do you mean by weaponizing? As in, I feel like he has a lot of childhood trauma. You got to stay with me with this, okay? Okay. Childhood trauma of being closeted. Mm -hmm. And now that he's gay, he's doing things that's trolling that I need to find the homophobic people. Mm-hmm. To like, see, you have a problem. Like I don't Lil Nas X did, exactly. Well, how does Gerard Car? I don't. I haven't seen him. Have you it. seen his TV show? No, I haven't. Uh, -uh. not the uh, HBO. Yeah, uh, series. The Gerard Carmichael show. Mm -hmm. He's using it like he's doing like. So, love is love. He has a whole first episode of him having sex with this guy, right? They show it. Kiss, not not visually, oh. but it's like like. He's like, I love Tinder. I go on Tinder and I feel love. I, I know I have a problem. I'm a sex addict. And they show like a little montage of him having all these sex with these guys, right? Which is... What do you mean they show him having sex with dudes? Guys coming in. He's talking to them. Uh, just know that uh, I just want you for your body. I'm fine with it. Next guy come in. I just want you for your body. And then they're kissing. He's like, can I suck your toes? Like that, right? And then her, his, her, his cousin was like... I don't want to see it. Are you homophobic? It's like, no, I just don't want to see it. And it's like, don't, don't do it in somebody's face and then be like, you have, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Like, like, well, straight people do it all the time. 
I was like, just, just know that this is shocking to people. <laughs> Like if I see somebody kissing their dog, it's like, ah! <laughs> like I don't normally see this, right? So, so I'm sorry if I made a noise when I saw. I never see this. You know what's funny? <laughs> what? Catch some compare kissing a dude. No, but it's shocking. <laughs> oh, oh, so so two dudes kisses the same as kissing a dog, no, huh? It's shocking. No, 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 no. So, I just said I wasn't. It surprised me. I. Just, if if you see my head in the toilet, you be like, "What are you doing? I'm vomiting, it's the best bro." Water. <laughs> it's, not, it's cold all the time. It's cold all the time. Don't judge it. Don't knock it. It's just shocking. I'm not saying I'm disgusted by it. I'm just saying it's just it's just like, oh, it's no puppy, man. So I was like, okay. Here's the thing. I think two dudes kissing is gross. So, not, not, so you just go double down on what? I'm, I mean, I'm not afraid to say I right. don't find two dudes kissing to be attractive. I think mm-hmm. it's I don't want to kiss a dude. Mm-hmm. I have no problem with two dudes kissing. I don't want to see it. But when I think about kissing dude, I'm like, oh, right? Why would you want to kiss a dude? Yeah. Look at Lex mustache. Facial I want nothing to do that. I want nothing to do with that. Ugh, scruffly face. I go like, what about that? Is somebody's like, mm. mm-hmm. and but women like beards and right. sashes. I go like, ugh. Yeah. I would never date a chick with a stash and a beard. Right. Right? Yeah. I go like Imagine But you like the softness of a woman. I'm like, I don't want to touch a dude's hard hardened body. Right. Right. I go like, well, we're not doing that. So I mean I go like if we're talking about preference, then I'm allowed to talk about my preference. Yeah. But there's also some women I'd be like, I don't I don't want there's some women I'm like, I don't want to kiss that. Yeah. Yeah. There's some. There's probably some women I'd rather kiss the dude <laughs> than kiss the girl. So, so let me ask you this: M- movie of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. This is your breakout role. Mm-hmm. Change your life. Mm-hmm. It's, it's new Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I'm 40 years old playing New Harry Potter. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's essentially it has an eight movie arc. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Around movie seven or eight. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of gay scenes. Mm-hmm. You like? I'm not doing that. How, what are we talking about gay scenes? What's that? As mean? in, you mean to do holding love, hands, love making. Part? No, you're in the bed. Can you're... I get a stunt? <laughs> no, you're bent over. Oh, yeah. I'm taking. It. <laughs> I'm the one. <laughs> you the one doing the bending over? <laughs> I thought I was pumping at least. <laughs> oh, did we talk about these changes uh, before? <laughs> <laughs> Can I be the one? No. We're going in a new direction. <laughs> no one told me? No, it's, it's all of it. He licking your nipples. <laughs> and you got to make all the morning noises and everything. <laughs> seeing, a, seeing a euphoric chance, talking about some. Uh, <laughs> I'm you like, like that. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> um, Would you be like, hey, in every movie, you're here's, getting here's, more. Here's my question. We did six of these movies already. Right. Okay? Right. No gay scenes before? You can see the, the the bond of you and your best friend and then gradually getting closer. Okay. Did So so when we did movie seven, did I know already going into that I'm playing this gay scene? Or yeah. they were just like, hey, guess no. what? We're changing you, it up. You see it coming. Okay, okay. But... <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> but this is my question. Did I know the entire time by the end of this series? No. No. So why, why not just be like, I don't want to do that? Because you are the main character. But I'm six movies in already, right? Yeah. Well, I should have made some money, right? J.K. J. K. Rollins already wrote it in the book, man. I mean, it's, that's... I go we, like... Well, we, see, that's what I'm asking. Did we, I already know this was coming? We, well, she's writing in real time like your boy... Uh, uh, from Game George, of Thrones. Yeah, George, George, whatever his name is. So he's right in the real time, like, oh man. He was making them make shit up as they went along. And uh, the ice cake, bring him back. Yes. <laughs> I don't see why I would say yes all of a sudden. If I knew what I was getting myself into, and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I understand this character arc by the end. Yeah. But if it was just like. And you getting Oscar after Oscar after Oscar. And it's like, oh man, Jazz about the gay scene. You're like, hey, y'all, I'm not doing this. Can we just like do a cutaway? It's like, no, we need to see this, man. I'm not gonna do that. You're not doing it? You guys doing the gay scene? Why? Now now if you said if you said from the beginning the Harry Potter thing from movie one, 
like when I think about Michael K. Williams in um, Wire, The Wire, I go like, yeah, I remember he was saying that he was like, I knew like as a scene it's gonna make me stand out, which it did, mm-hmm. which it did. Omar was an interesting character. Um, but my man was busting mad slobs with dudes. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, oh, he's he's in there. That that that's a lot of commitment. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know if I got that much commitment. Yeah, in me. yeah. Um, I got you another one, Jake. Uh, so you want to do it? N- not by movie seven. No. No. What's what's his name? K- Sterling K. Sterling. What's, what's his name? Michael K. Sterling. The dude from This Is Us. Yeah. Uh huh. He has a movie called I think it's called The Dome. Mm hmm. It's called the dome. I can't think of the name of it. Um, so you know what happens when two male fishes are left into a tank? They eat each other. No. Oh, they mate. Um. So I'm gonna give you the, the premise of the movie. So they were the last people on Earth. Michael I don't, K. I don't, I don't know about yeah, him and his other guy. Uh huh. White guy, right? Mm-hmm. And oh, Sterling K. Brown. Sterling K. Brown. Yes. I was way off. Uh, was and Moyo, me. can you look up the movie? Um, it's something about the dome. Um, they were the last two people, black and white guy on Earth, and they and they're talking. They've been in there for like twelve years, right? Mm-hmm. They're in this big ass, maybe I would say like a um, like like a building size, mm-hmm. and you can see the roof. And they had the bathroom. They had everything inside there, and they had food. Mm-hmm. Um, and now their their fishes are starting to kind of. Uh, die off mm-hmm. the the female fish died off and those two male fishes mm-hmm. and they're like what's going to happen to them so if you know how fishes mate one will turn into a female okay you know about this uh i've heard it with different amphibians i've right. heard it like frogs yeah but one will fish. turn into a female and then they will procreate and then have the baby right so that was their analogy mm-hmm. so so seeing that their friend had died like a month ago mm-hmm. Something happened in the atmosphere. There's like we have to cr- procreate, and the dude, the white guy, start growing breast. Okay, and he his his penis went inside. Whew, that is terrifying. Yeah, he's like, what is happening to me? Because the girl in their dome had died. Mm-hmm. This is a play, by the way, too. Uh, <laughs> Uh yeah, this is I mean not not no not, not a play. This is a movie, oh. but it's based off of a play. Well, yeah, but even the play I'd have been like, oh, this is wild. <laughs> so he's freaking out like, yo, I don't know what's happening. Look at my vagina. Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, look. So so yeah, so that's what's happening. Like his penis went inside, and then he's like, You ain't gonna believe this. Um, but what's happening to me is happening. I mean, what happened to the fish is happening to me. He said, "Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way." He's still talking like a man. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like, let me see. He showed. He's like, Did "You, you got, you got titties. Like, I know. So like, I don't know what's happening." But throughout the day, throughout the weeks, he started getting female characteristics. Um, and then he couldn't pick what he wanted to eat. <laughs> Sure. I used to know exactly yeah, what yeah, I yeah, wanted. I don't know who I want. Now I only want huh, some of you want yeah. some. <laughs> I want. I want some of yours. Why you keep picking up my plate? I want some of yours. But then uh, uh, he started getting vulnerable and was like, "Why don't you? Why don't you talk to me? You always want to work." Like he, he's like, "What? What is, bro? What you doing? What you doing?" Yeah, his so. just started kicking in. Um, and then and then he started to play with himself, mm-hmm. and he was like. This feels great. Mm-hmm. Like he's a he's a woman now. He's like playing with himself, and Sterling was jacking off, and that's what they was doing. Was right next Not, to each other. No, 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 no. I mean, this is how they were pleasing themselves, mm-hmm. like throughout the day. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, the guy, the girl guy, was like fingering himself, and, he, and Sterling was like, "That's just turning." He's like, "Why am I erect hearing this?" Wait, how big is this place? This is, oh my god, is it was I would say. If you see my wall right there, uh-huh. and this wall, if it rounded all around right there, right, mm-hmm. and it was like a big like center in the middle of like all their stuff, and they can run around to guy and stay in shape. They had like a little bathroom area, a bedroom area. It's not not enough space to beat off quietly somewhere <laughs> off. 
He's like, oh my God, this is great. Yeah. I wish I had a clitoris a long time ago. And when I tell you, when I tell you, I said, I can't believe that this is about to happen. <laughs> it did. He said, I just want to know what it feels like. Sterling said that, or the dude? The guy, he's like, as a woman, I've had a male, I've, I've been a male, I didn't know what it feels like for you to go inside of me. And then he was like, I'm not doing that shit. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not doing this, dude. I'm not doing this. And he, he doing the whole, please. And just start turning him on. I said, what movie is this? How long were they alone together? This is 12 years. I'm surprised they didn't do this when they were both men. <laughs> like, <laughs> They were in prison. Yeah. I don't know how long dude be in prison. <laughs> I was like, day hour one. Who? Who? What if you were in prison for one day and he was like, all right, man, well, you know, let's get it in. It's like, yo, you've been acquitted. <laughs> I'm already inside. <laughs> I, I want to stay. This feels amazing. Look, like, 18 people came in. They came in. Can Can anybody tell me what that movie is? Is the movie? Oh, yeah, Biosphere. Thank you. Biosphere. Yeah, Biosphere. <laughs> Um, man, dude, and this nigga got pregnant, yo. That's what I would be mad. I'm like, I'm not about to take care of this baby, dog. <laughs> I'm not taking care of this kid. He said, just put it in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shot his up in. Cause the thing is, the, the oh, the, he the, came inside the home. Yeah, he got pregnant. That's what I'm saying. Look, the, the, the two fish. That's one thing. <laughs> the two fish. One of them became a male. I mean, one became a female, and they had a baby. So he's like, so that's pretty much the same thing happened. You got to be a, a wild boy to smash a dude who used to be a dude mm -hmm. raw and then bust inside. <laughs> now, if you were like, we got to keep the species going. Uh -huh. Now we're in business transaction. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so long. <laughs> uh, they live yeah. uh, hermetically. Hermetically sealed dome with a few fish named after friends characters as they face their fate. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Kid Clip said, I don't like this movie. <laughs> that monster is a scientific notion that threatens species can change their sex in order to continue in this species. That monster. Yeah, hey, I don't know why you pick monster in quotation. Is that a reference to the movie? That monster? That sex in order to continue the species. Yeah. Um, I yeah. understand the idea of like, this is it. Yeah, the human. We're gonna die off. Right. We're the last two. Yeah, because they they couldn't leave this dome because the outside was inhabitable. Mm -hmm. So they had to stay in there. So why not? What made what? I was wondering why nature chose me to be the woman. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I forgot why. Yeah, I don't know why. Why'd why you happened? pick him? It's like you'd be a better mother. Right. <laughs> right. Right. You'd be no. Yeah. You're less. Or know. maybe or maybe you had less testosterone. Yeah. Or something like that. Right, and I think that they're breathing the same air too. So I think that's they were trying to make an analogy of like if the fish are in the same atmosphere, they kind of like I don't know, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm trying to make it justify like how did you make that adjustment of who should pick? I wonder how long it takes the fish to start changing. How long is the fish need like? Somebody look at that for us. A couple months. Mo, you're on a good road. Within, within a week, do the fish start? Uh, oh, oh, I see what's happening. It's just us. Got yeah, it. it's just Hold us. On. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, to see your penis re retracting man. and your balls going up. I hope his balls went up. Yeah. <laughs> They're still yeah. out. I, I couldn't get them in there. <laughs> they just stayed out. The U Haul truck was too full. <laughs> we don't leave them dangling. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. I love seeing balls hang from cars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. You ever seen little balls hanging from yeah, trucks? Yeah, you, you were saying this too slow. Too slow. <laughs> I love how balls hang. How many balls are. You just see him hanging, Lack. Uh, the scientific notion. Oh, is that already that already? No, hold on. Dion, stay off HBO Max, brother. <laughs> a scientific notion that threatened species can change their sex in order to continue the species. Right? Oh, that's for anybody? Watch a little PBS Kids or something next time. Moyo, is that for anybody? Um, you think, I don't think it happened to humans, can it? Clip that. Clip which part? Which part are you talking about? France? My balls hanging. Oh, like, that part just Dion saying, I love seeing balls hang. I love seeing balls hang. I love seeing my buddy be behind it. Now, now, I love seeing balls. I love now it's gonna be you right now. 
Uh, that was the whole basis of Jurassic Park. Reptiles change from their species. True. Do men ever sit on your own balls? Oh, it's happened. Um, I've definitely sat on my own balls before. I said, yo, like a cat. You see a cat get his tail? So, yeah! I've definitely sat on my own balls I don't, before. I've never. My balls aren't that long, man. Man, I've definitely been on a hot summer day, sat mm-hmm. down, ball first. I was like, <laughs> yes! Uh, mm. Ball first. It doesn't happen crazy. often, but mm-hmm. uh, every now and then, you'll catch a... Yeah. I'm actually going to say this. Mm-hmm. I prefer... Getting kicked in the balls or hitting the balls versus blue balls. You agree? No. No. One nut bust. I'm done. I'm I'm over blue balls. I thought that I thought that worked, man. It does not work. Uh, if you feel that look, oh, I'm getting blue balls. And he's like, let me kind of let me kind of get this off. It does not work, bro. It's like, what's up, Grunt Hunt? We in too deep. We in too deep. Nope. I've never I've never suffered from blue balls like some people say. I still think it's a, a thing that dudes just say to hit it. No. Have you ever I think they make women feel bad and go, I've got blue balls. Don't leave me like this. Have you ever retracted or uh edged for her pleasure? Are you familiar with edging? I've heard the term. I've mm-hmm. never edged because I'm gonna get this bust off. No. Re- re- uh edging is Tell me when she's doing it to you. No. Edging is uh, right when you're about to bust, you pull out, and then you just don't even, like, try to ejaculate. Edging, from what I hear. And I've done I, that trying not to come early. Right, right. <gasps> that's, that's edging. Okay. Um, edging is, from what I hear and what I read, is it's healthy for your body because, obviously, your sperm is life. Okay. It gives life. But if you don't bust... It goes back into it has to go somewhere because the whole time you're having sex, it's making sperm. Mm-hmm. So when it's in the process of mixing with your semen to be shot out, mm-hmm. and you do nothing with it, that comes back out and goes in your balls, but it always gets in your bloodstream to kind of do what? It, it's healthy. It's life. But what what does it what does it do? Like what it, are we doing? It has to sort of. So the sperm running around your bloodstream? No, you... it's like it has to break down, and that's how you get blue balls because it's it's preparing to be shot out, and it comes back then. So why not just bust? I don't understand. It's the hope. It's it's how you. I mean, how long are we doing this edging thing for? Before I just go like, all right, somebody look up edging, man. Give me the definition of edging, y'all. Why would I? Why would I still not come at the end? Because that's it's, enough it's, edging. It's it's self. Uh... You're supposed to edge yourself. Yeah. As in, right, we better bust. Why would I do that? You're giving life. You're shooting life. And now you're putting the life back inside you. It's nutrients and stuff. From what I read. Look it up. Somebody give me the definition of edging. That sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many other things to give you nutrients. Let me just hold this scene. I'll be the healthiest Look man on earth. Because I'm trying to freestyle this. This, is, this sounds very dumb. I, I I got nothing, man. This is what it means, yo. Oh, Dion and Smell. his folk tales. Sounds like a villain <laughs> origin story. That ain't no fun. Look it up, man. Sounds Look it like up. malarkey. <laughs> 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 Sounds like torture. No such thing as blue balls. No such thing. That and boy Dion, that, a freaky ass 69 guy. <laughs> it's, <laughs> is, and this is that in uh, LA. Is you a freak. Oh boy! It sounds like some uh, hot hotep came up with that. <laughs> some hotep, hilarious. What the, what's up, Kalani? What the hell Kalani are y'all talking Kevin. about? I just turned it in while I'm driving to my date. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kalani, uh, uh, Miss B, if have you heard of edging? And find the definition of edging and the benefits of it. I feel like. This is different. I don't. I mean, edging sounds like a. I can see it as being like some seductive thing where mm-hmm. some girls like, oh, oh, oh not yet. And mm-hmm. you're like, oh, but I'm gonna get still stick that nut off. Like we're, that, <laughs> what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Like what are we talking about? I really think blue balls is a thing. Dudes made up a long time ago. No man, you never have blue you balls can go, No, because you can just still bust. I don't you're understand. Out of control. This. I do, here's what I don't understand. Whether I'm with a girl and I'm like, oh, come on, come on, come on, oh, and I, you can just go bust anyway, or just what are you talk, what are we talking about? I think, I think, and this is me just like the pattern of getting blue balls. 
you know your sperm and semen are two different things. Mm -hmm. The semen is the lube for the sperm to be shot out. Mm -hmm. I believe that how you get blue balls, the the tube that the semen and sperm comes out of is exit only. And when it's getting ready to shoot out, it's like, ah, nothing's coming out. And it goes back down. It's like, and it's not prepared to, for that entrance again. So you feel pain in your balls? I feel pain in the I've tube never, of the balls. I've never, ever once felt pain in my balls from being riled up I and not smashed. You. I dare you to do a, little, do a little foreplay for about four hours. I've been, I've been, why on earth? <laughs> Why on earth would you foreplay for four hours? What are you talking about? Ask Google. What? Ask Google. What are we even talking Man, about anymore? Men, please just tell this nigga that blue balls exist. Why you never, would, you never had blue balls before? Never, ever, once, ever in my life have I had blue balls. Never, ever. You know why? Because I can just bust that nut whenever I want to. It's not. See, you think once you already had the feeling of blue balls, it's already a rat. It's a rat. Because it's, it's your sperm and semen going in and out. This sounds self-inflicted. I don't understand. It's very self-inflicted. Or if it could be a girl just like, not yet. Or she's okay. giving you head and, and she's terrible and at it. And this is when guys go, but I got blue balls. And they go, oh, he's in so much pain. And then the guy goes, <laughs> She has yeah. a definition. Of what? Uh, of edging, the practice of stopping yourself from reaching orgasm right when you're on the cusp, the metaphorical edge right before you fall off into cliff. Okay, I, I get that, but on a more holistic level, edging can make you more keenly aware of your own sex responses, both solo and with a partner, bringing mindfulness into the bedroom. Can you find the benefits of edging? She just read it. <laughs> Being more mindful of your... No, it's like something to your body. It's like it, it, the sperm and semen goes back into you and kind of give you some sort of... Fronts. Are you saying, nope, that you never had blue balls? Fresco says, I never had blue balls before. Ain't no way. <laughs> what do you Can mean? somebody please look up the definition of, of blue balls? What is happening here? What do you mean? <laughs> if, you think, if this is a thing that's self-inflicted, I've never gone through this not process. It's self-inflicted. <laughs> what, if, what, if what if you are with a girl... Mm -hmm. Who is who is like I wanna I wanna tease you for a long time. Don't do that. <laughs> because I'm gonna bust this nut. <laughs> who she wanna give you a massage? You know what I'm saying? I wanna tickle hey, your listen, balls. Listen, listen, listen. Anytime you're about to touch me, <laughs> about to bust this it's gonna be on. <laughs> it's gonna be on. Don't play with me if you're not trying to get on. Because it's gonna be on. Let's just have a good respectful night. <laughs> Because if you come over to the crib, I'm assuming it's on. Mm. We're going to have this chat. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've definitely told a girl before, I want to do that because I'm going to try to smash. Mm -hmm. And I've definitely had a girl say, okay. Or, I got you. Mm -hmm. Like, the more honest you are, ain't one of those, should I? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, this is this has happened with Keith Robinson. Have you heard this story? Uh, the comedian? Yeah. Uh -uh. Keith Robinson. I want to know who's in the room. Mm-hmm. Keith Robinson lives in New York. Mm -hmm. Girl lives in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. She said, hey, I want to, to have some food with you. I want to have some dinner. He said, cool. Just know if I'm driving from New York to Philadelphia, I want that cat flap. Okay? And she, such a gross term. <laughs> I, I want that, uh, that, that, that nappy dugout. Uh, even worse. I, I want oh, we that. got more? I, I want that ooh up, ooh up, do that, do up. And she's like, okay, I'm down, right? And then she gets there. They had Red Lobster. She's eating. He's, she's belching, as he said. And he has said, cool, you done? You fool? Which hole the hell you want to go to? And she said, I have a headache. And he has said, cool, cool. He said, go ahead and order some dessert. She ordered some dessert, and he just went back home. So who's in the wrong? Well, I mean, what did he do wrong? He made her pay for the bill of, oh. of all both of their food. Oh. <laughs> both of their foods. Oh. <laughs> he said, you going to play me? I'm going to play you. Oh, boy. Um, who's in the wrong? Well, technically, she lied. Yeah. A headache doesn't mean you've done it. 
<laughs> Let's stop and get some Tylenol. <laughs> Cause I have a headache. Yeah, I don't. I don't. That's it. That, close for the evening. <laughs> um, who's in the wrong? Uh, I, I might have been like, yo, let's <laughs> we're gonna split this bill. Yeah, I would. I would have paid it for everything anyways. You mm-hmm. got me. You got me. Ah, you got me. You got me. Yeah. Yeah, you get full. All mm-hmm. right, you got me. Yeah, they got a free meal out yeah. of it. Yeah, and you just show, just know you drove an hour and a half. Yeah, you got me. Yep, and I just, got got. Yep, and just like don't talk to me again, okay? I'm out. You got it. Yep. <laughs> Arriba Darchi. <laughs> oh, you got me. Um, I would have, I would have, yeah, I would, I would have paid for my food and left my food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the very most I'm like, let's yeah, split that bill. Because the fact that I drove an hour and a half, especially they had drive an hour and a half back. If you knew what it was, right? Mm-hmm. If we go, hey, listen, I'm coming, but and we gonna that thing, thing, thing. Mm-hmm. And she go, okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, this is when you go to the hotel and you order in. <laughs> you go to the hotel first. Yeah, then you go like, we got about an hour for the food. Get here. <laughs> and then watch before you bust the food comes, you leave. <laughs> she paid for it. <laughs> In a hotel. That's diabolical. <laughs> that's diabolical. <laughs> that is, that's the next level Insane. of ain't shitness. Uh-huh. <laughs> what the people talking about? Let's see what they have to say about this scenario. Uh, Lack wants my Google search to just <laughs> as wild as it is. No thanks. Come on, Moyo. What that mouth do? Blue balls is a slang <laughs> term for a real condition called epididymal <laughs> hypertension. Uh, I'm giving it up because I said I was. I'm giving it up because I said well, I'm There you go. I'm so so it's a woman of your word. Are you in LA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more with big facts. But I was looking at the Google and the mess from work. Uh, Miss B's Google search is wild. On, is wild as Lex. Um, <laughs> blue balls is a slang term for a real condition called epididymal hypertension. Boom. Epididymal. So what is what is epididymal hypertension? Give me that definition. Because then we're not in the edging world. We're in the epididymal hypertension. Hypertension. For what I know, hypertension is like low blood pressure, ain't it? Hypo is mm-hmm. high blood pressure. No. Hyper is high blood pressure. Hypo is low blood pressure. Mm-hmm. So are we talking about hypertension in a penis? It's high yeah. blood pressure, which would make Gotta sense. Be. If you have an erection. Yeah, because it's a blood flow. That's all it is when you get erect. Your blood is going to your penis. So then, so then what? So then, like that's that's nothing off the normal. You can't get it back down. Mm-mm. Is it the whole? You have to drain it with a needle. That's different. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about that, right? And it's always in your balls, never in your pain. I've had more pain from smashing multiple times in a day. I've had that. Mm. Have you felt that? Mm-hmm. So that I'm familiar with. Right. If we're talking about the not busting and feeling pain, then no. I don't know what we're talking I about. I don't. I don't. But when you have done it, I'm like, my penis is so tired. Yeah. It is weak. I've I've had a very arrogant, ego-driven penis before, and it came in hard. Like, hey, what are we having sex? Okay. It was like, this is your penis or something? Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Let's do this. Uh-huh. It was like, dude, we just had sex last night. Stop. Chill out. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh. And goes back down like I'm sorry, bro. I've definitely had the overworked. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm trying. I let you down. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, man. He's like, I, I'm overworked and underpaid. You ever had that feeling of like, get your goddamn hands like, off me? Like you inside, he's like, I'm not feeling nothing. It's like if I just move around and get a little wetness to get me excited, he's like, come on, man, please, come on, stay in there. Oh, hey, Stop listen, moving. Listen, I ain't got it. <laughs> okay. Listen. Blame it on the restroom. Go, go pee. Blame it on that. Listen, I gave you everything I got. Uh, I'm sorry. I got nothing. I've never had it where I couldn't get up Like at that time. I've been very fortunate. It's never been like, you know, oh, man, it's not working right now. I've mm. definitely had the quick. Diet is everything. You, you, you didn't. I didn't read who's. God damn it, dude. I had it right there. My bad. I thought we were going back down. No, you had it right there. You didn't do this one. Oh, my bad. Uh, I uh, One, help people. Help people, specific, especially those with vaginas to achieve orgasm more easily. What are we talking about? Reduce this feelings is, of embarrassment by building body awareness and confidence. This is what, what, edging? Yeah. Help people, especially those with vaginas to achieve orgasm more easily. Oh, three, remove the emphasis of penetration from more holistic partner 
for more holistic partnerships. That's it. Boring. <laughs> Not doing all that. Uh, sexual arouses. Oh wait. Okay. The symptom may occur beside because blood builds up in the testicles during arousal, causing them to ache if the person remains aroused for too long. Sexual arouses causes the arteries trusted. Did I say trusted? Trusted source. I carry blood to the major genitals to expand, increasing the blood flow to this area. The veins that usually take blood away from the Boom. genitals restrict. So why not just bust? I don't understand. I told you this is, I had I had I knew it had something to do with blood. I mean, why not just I ejaculated? We're good now. Everybody goes no, down because 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 if a girl's like, listen, don't say it, Chaz. Don't say it. Don't say what? I'm almost there. I'm almost don't don't come yet. Don't come yet. You're like okay, cool. And now you edging like. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> like I'm edging, and he's like, she's like, oh my god, this, I, this is the big one. This is the big one. Please don't bust. You're like already in the car. <laughs> I've already caught it over. I don't know if we should be proud of Chaz or scared for you. <laughs> Wait, what did I say, Big Sis Chris? Good man. Trapping blood and causing an erection. Uh, rock on them, Miss B. Uh, if you're nasty, that's your go to for the carry for the crazy searches. Uh, it makes no sense. I can I can understand the buildup in in, in in blood pressure. Am I doing this right? Mm-hmm. I can understand the buildup in blood pressure, but what's that? I don't understand that. In my opinion, blue balls is not planned. Edging is planned. Yeah, blue balls is like I didn't control this. I just go. I can fix this right now today. As more. T- oh, you don't want to smash anymore? I'll be right back. Yeah, we're done here. Well, I'm gonna go get this off then. Cut you busting regardless. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. For real, it's there's, happening. There's there's nothing like talking mad shit for first time girls. He's like, hey, I'm just letting you know, man. I got a good I got a good record. <laughs> so prepare yourself, knuckle up, and you, you get him like, oh, this is a worthy opponent. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, man, oh, I under- <laughs> underestimated <laughs> the. Uh, and she's climate, and, but you in your head saying this, and she's like, "Oh, come on, Big Daddy, give it to me." But like, hold on, hold it's on. not fair because <laughs> his was not fair. His was not fair about sex. It's like women don't have the pressure; they can just take it. Yeah, they can just take it. Yeah, dudes have to perform. Right, they have to stay there. You're like, you're like, it's, it is. I mean, you got to be in a, in like. You just got to be in there like, all right, right, with a mental battle, whatever right, it is. Right, But you can get in there. You can be ready. And you're yeah. just like, nah, it is perfect in here. Yeah, it is. Oh. But also. <laughs> it's the right temperature. You know what the worst thing it's is? It's the right constriction. The worst thing is, the worst thing is, is trying to encourage a girl. You know, ever did the whole movie, oh, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. And it's like, she's not even prepared. Like, you rock hard. It's like, okay, you got to do a little. To kind of get a little, come on, man. You ain't even wet a little bit. <laughs> I don't like when I'm being spontaneous. Like, Let me go to the bathroom. <sighs> yeah. But you got to go hose that thing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to hose it down. Yeah, the worst thing is like, I'm hard. I, I don't want to feel like this is an essay right now. You, you ever you ever have her come back and she's on her period? You'd be like, oh, hold on. Yeah, bad news. What? Come. You hear the rapper? <laughs> Ah oh. uh, no! You, hold on. Before we do anything, let me look in the trash can. <laughs> uh, I see a little colorful, yeah, little colorful right. paper in there. Smells like April showers. <laughs> Smells like summer's eve. You can definitely fix both busting. There you go. Edging is training yourself not to bust fast when you're in that wop. Yeah. Wop 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 wop. Drake, fuck him up. <laughs> say Drake. Oh boy. Drake fan over here. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah. This has been a wild podcast. Crazy. This might be one of the wilder episodes we've had in a while. We've covered a lot of ground. Mm, 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 mm. How many of you guys got an alert on YouTube that we were on? Because we're doing this on StreamYard. Yeah, this is a new platform. Does it look different for y'all? Yeah. Yeah, it does it look different also. Uh, I know you got to wrap up, huh? Yeah, I got to spend some time with my girls. <sighs> going to be a good day. Yes. Wop. My kids, the bound of nowhere she's at right now. You want to be a good father? Mm-hmm. Uh, not that wild. I don't know. I've said some terrible things. I hope. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Cassie stuff. That was, that was a rough one. That was a rough one. See, look, no, look, they didn't get a, they didn't get an alert. No, nobody. Yeah. 
So then, so then, how'd you guys see it was on? Did you just like on YouTube, or how do you find that it's it's on right, right. now? Right, right. Or do you just kind of know by the time to be checking? Are you today's what Tuesday? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was weird not going to Daddy's issues today. That was weird. Today's Tuesday or Monday? It's Tuesday, yo. Yeah. So I don't even know what day it is, so I didn't go to Daddy's issues. That's my mm-hmm. cement for the week. I know what day I'm on. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, oh, okay, just on YouTube. Hmm. It looks the same. Get a notification and it looks the same. Yeah. Okay. I think we can we, hit that button. Hit your notification button. Yeah. Can we um, do dual Instagrams? Probably. Like with the because we're we're doing a paid uh, stream yard. So you mean like if I stream yard separately and you stream yard separately? No, no, no. Because I think the the paid stream yard you can you, you get the Bobby Brown job. <laughs> <laughs> you can stream from different dead. platforms. <laughs> you can stream from different platforms. Yeah. Uh, I think I do though. I mm-hmm. think mine's just uh, if it's still. And you know the thing that you're talking about. You want to do the in 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 the in video thing. Well, if we had something to show, because you know sometimes you'd be like, "Yo, look at this video," and I was gotcha. like, oh, "Okay." So it's just in, like we did it a couple of times. I had to put it in after. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Hello, pause. Oh boy, um, get an alert for the first stream, but not the second one. Okay, because YouTube is probably hating then. Uh, I know how to start. I know that I have to start coming here on Tuesdays now. I kind of don't like the Batch episodes very issues. So I don't either. Dang. Like, we do it as well. Uh, not as often. Probably, sometimes it just depends. It's all the chairs, man. Because it just depends on the don't, schedule. Don't do the we. Well, we do. I'm not, I don't do this by myself. I, I do. <laughs> sick of like. Carrying this nigga right now. Sick, sick of like. He on my coattails, man. Sick of like. the last episode. I got it. Oh. Uh, sorry. All right. Well, yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. Uh, <coughs> did you see the last video by chance? Now why? Uh, I spent speeding up the, the 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 actual rap. You sped it up? Yeah. What does that mean? I gotta look at it. So then it's just like, can I, can I get some more? Yes, please. I last click in this podcast. Can I connect me. Connect that. Connect me. <laughs> I was doing when I when I edit, I edit fast. Mm-hmm. I edit in like damn near double. To just uh, you know to get through it. And yeah. then when I heard the rap, like that's hey, that's, that's funny. funny. And so I just kept it like that. I said, that's hey man, funny. shut up, B. What she say? You can get to the rap this time. <laughs> Somebody type out the lyrics for me. Moyo, type the I lyrics. I come here. Oh, okay, bye yo. Um, bye y'all. Uh, man, reading is night and day without my glasses. Now I'm at that age. You need like, glasses? Just, well, I have them. They're just all the way over there. Where's your glasses? Like, okay. Yeah. So I was like, just I'm at that age, you go like, I don't know what none of that says. Mm. Uh, my knee has also been swollen since that time I done that sprint. Still, Sheesh. it's been two months. Here, knee's brother? still swollen. Yeah, we're done running. Let me ask you this: Somebody said you don't have a beard, Dion. You have facial hair. <laughs> that that kind of hurt. What What does that mean? <laughs> do you have Do you have Do you have a beard? What do you have? I don't ever consider. I at the most I have a goatee. I guess at the most. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about going back down to a goatee. Turn that way. You don't want to see this side. Okay, <laughs> turn the other way then. This is this side. Okay, turn the other way. This was the better side. <laughs> yeah. This okay. side is tragic. And I like this side. I like this length. Mm-hmm. And they was like, nah, you got facial hair. I, I don't need to see your skin at all. And that hurt my feelings. And I was like, maybe I just gotta, I gotta go back to the goatee. Wait, far as what though? What counts as a beard then? How much of like, your face has to be covered? Your beard is covering your skin. Right. Like, so you have a beard on the left side? No, you can still see my skin. Okay, like but, but if what if you edged it and got it right, and if it was just like okay, that's that's nice. It's a low, it's a low beard. <laughs> that's a that's a Stephen even even Stephen, a one beard. Um, I don't know. I always say beards for ugly people, anyways. So you know, of course, man. If you had abs, beard, and your hairline, you would say you would talk about the opposition. Well, we ever see when people have those shave commercials, right? And they're like, shh, shh, shh mm-hmm. you know, the fresh, clean look, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but have you ever seen somebody shave their beard and they look funny? Yeah. They, they don't look nearly as attractive. Right. Because beards for ugly people. Yeah. I go, like, if you have a good smile, good cheekbones, dimples, why would I cover this shit up? Why would I cover this up? You're still doing it, though. You got facial hair. Facial hair here, but look how much of my face shines. But, but you have look hair inside your dimples. But if I had a beard all a the beard? way here, a beard all the way here, if, if if all this was, what? You gotta be ugly as shit to walk around like this. But What's up, put dog? your fingers Get in your, your dimples. Out. Pause. What? Because I want you. Because your hair is in your dimples. Oh, it's, it's, it's not been <laughs> shaved though. But it's not like I have a whole beard. You can see all my face. But though. why is your dimple sagging? 
What are you talking about? Your dimples are supposed to be on your cheeks, not on your. They, they're dimples like dimples can be wherever they are. They no, still have dimples, man. bro. No, your dimples are low. My dimples are. They're dimples. they're below your smile. My daughter has the dimples in the exact same place. But there's they're sagging. Would you What's put up, your dimples man? up? How you doing? How, how it's going? Hmm? Me? Oh, I'm great. Let's do a poll. Who got I'm the better great. dimples? Right, let's see yours. Nah, I don't, I don't you do know. it for free. You gotta, oh, you, gotta join the, you gotta join the Patreon to get those dimples on me. <laughs> you know? All right. She's like, I need some milk for my beard. I need some milk. That one side is a little Paul Pierce ish. <laughs> Put some turmeric in your food task for the inflammation. Oh, yeah, I've been trying to ice this thing. Uh, oh, anyways. I'll play too much for the dimples. No. My, my Let's do it. Inflamed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's gonna be dry as hell because this coffee oh, is just yeah. Coffee don't help you hydrate. Mm-mm. I drink it anyway. I just might have said you gotta set that beard in rice. Why, why set it in rice? What? Uh, you can't see mine. What are you talking about? They outside my beard. Look at that. They on top of the beard. I feel like your dimples are too far back. They gotta be closer to your mouth. Like how far are yours? Is? <laughs> what are you talking about man, you know dimples your dimples out of bounds. <laughs> your dimples are not standard, yo. What are you talking about? Yours is like an exclamation mark They're, of your your smile. Mine are right here, but next to my face, right next to the mouth. No smile. Yours is way over here. Smile. Your dimples are an exclamation mark of your smile. That's fine. Like they this, pointed out. Clean. It did, and it went right here. This You're, is the explanation point. Like, oh my god! On top of that, it's almost like a question smile, mark. Smile, there it is. It's below your smile line. But yours is way back. It's here. on your cheeks. Yours is on your neck. Dimples go on your cheeks, man. Why, why do you have neck pulse? <laughs> yours are sagging. Okay, twenty five percent of people have dimples, and only two percent have one. Well, oh. dang, only twenty five percent of people have dimples. It's a struggle. Are friend. we freaks then? Yeah, out of bound dimples. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Lacker and Chaz. Now, 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 check, check please. please. Do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of laughs we're cooking up in this podcast. Type of XD is high key to live stream. It's mostly positive conversations, except we tend to get darker than Elbows and Wesley. We saw the popping like Coca Cola and Pepsi. Mr. Chaz Rogers, Big Ready from Lansing. I'm like Coast, ENT, and guess we paying for the bills to so give us another check, please. Ficker, ficker, please. One more jar. I'm about to ask some more lines. Uh, we out here, man. Thank you guys for watching this stream. Please hit the notification bell so we are watching and tuning in every single time. Please. We love y'all feedback. You are part of the community. Stream y'all keeps pausing. Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, you know who? Thank y'all, man. And then uh, thank you for watching the pods. Please support, see, uh, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. Share, tell your friends. It's the most wildest place on earth. Tell them to come and have a, a wonderful time. Uh, anything else? I'm good, man. You missing? You got anything? To talk about when the show come out? When you doing? When oh, y'all, when y'all uh, releasing, I'm doing. Um, when y'all releasing the season? Still editing. Still editing. Mm-hmm. Still going through the uh, the stream. Um, stream out of the episode, trying to find the best ones, find the best clips. Um, this Saturday, I am doing um, bonfires with Keenan oh, and Ice. Nice. And I'm telling some stories. Nice. I'm planning on telling the story about the uh, the tornado story in, in Dayton, Ohio. Nice. And uh, and I want to bring my daughters to to be a part of it as well <laughs> to see if they can join in and. Mm-hmm. Talk about it. How they were feeling in real time. Yeah. So I've been uh, doing a lot of clips of young Shakespeare on TikTok and uh, threads. It's hitting though. It's doing well. Dog, when you talked about it, you were like, ah, oh, no, I should get rid of it. I'm like, it's a great bit. Appreciate it. It's you, great. Bro. Yeah. That's why I was like, let it, after you edit it, see how it is. Right. Because it's genius. Right. Appreciate it. Don't yeah. let those idiots who can't keep yeah. up. <laughs> oh, dude, it's hard. I'm like, that's what makes it great. It's not right. supposed to be easy. Right, it's right. Like, that's a right. great bit. TikTok is taking off, man. People are like, more. Dog, Keep posting. It's great. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't abandon it. Yeah. Because it's solid. Right, right, right. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Um, yeah, my TikTok number's growing 
with the good thing with TikTok, good thing with Threads, they just send it to random people a lot of the times. They send it to random people. Like I'm like, who is this person? They just like, mm-hmm. hey, I just randomly found you. Keep off. posting this. My last two weeks have been hectic. Mm-hmm. I have not posted properly anything yeah. in the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah, it um, happens, man. So I gotta, I gotta hop back on. Yeah, but the podcast the is good still thing, going strong. The good thing is, just like with Instagram, YouTube, you can post in advance for those little schedules. Right, right. So the things that you've been seeing of, of us, those, those have been scheduled out like uh, three weeks ago. <laughs> right. I did not do that on purpose. You have to though. Yeah. Because once I ran out, I got busy. I was like. I didn't yep. re-up, and now yep. I'm behind. Right. Because right. I got busy all of a sudden, mm-hmm. and I was like, damn. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yep. yep. Toodaloo.